What's going on, everybody? I'm Captain Robear, and this is Baldur's Gate Arc 3, Episode 30. Aw, yeah. <laughs> I think so happy. I am terrified. <laughs> 30 is a nice round number to die on, right? <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, it's a solid, solid number. 30 <laughs> episodes, yeah. It's good. Enough point. Listen, some relationships don't last, last 30 weeks. This is a very true statement, <laughs> especially in Florida. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's been a long two-week break. Mm. I missed you guys. It's been a while. It's good to be. And nothing bad's happening tonight. Nope, no, definitely no. not going to have a big old <laughs> boss battle or anything. Nope. I mean, good news is, don't have to worry. We still ain't back at Baldur's Gate, baby. That is true. <laughs> you no, know, instead, we could go back to the fish town and just get infected with that bug thing again and just not care about anything. <laughs> Take the tadpole. Uh, it is an option. Bad idea. Let me just die blissfully unaware. <laughs> I like drinking the worm at the bottom of the bottle of tequila. A hundred percent. We're just doing a, a different version of the little merfolk instead of a little mermaid. <laughs> I was thinking Thunder of the sea. Eels from Wrath of Khan. <laughs> it's not Khan! fair. We, we only have one cross station though. We need uh, we need copious uh, more amounts oh, of. Yeah. Oh my God! I just realized I'm naming my cross station Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Been this nice. long without a name? Hey, relax. <laughs> Sometimes when you're making a work of art, you have to step back, you know, to mm. see the full picture before you can, you know, yeah. really commit. Of course, of course. <sighs> That's when. It's when the real work begins. Sure. Indeed. Sure. <laughs> Anybody got anything big uh, going on this weekend that they would uh, like to promote? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, this Sunday, <laughs> September 12th, you can uh, find us live on twitch.tv slash D20 Deathmatch. Uh, if somebody wants to put that in the chat, that'd be great. But uh, we'll be live for the first episode, first official episode. No play test. This is for real. D20 Deathmatch over here on Twitch. Um, likewise, we actually just uh, we just launched our Kickstarter to uh, uh, fund some of the show. So if you're interested in checking that out, um, then you can uh, you can go over to Kickstarter and check it out as well. And we're already halfway there. So oh yeah, we are halfway there. Up line just right on over absolutely thank you hell all so yeah much. love it we'll be announcing the guests tomorrow so check our twitter Ooh, do we get any spoilers no <laughs> <laughs> come on just a little tease it's okay he dm'd me the entire schedule i know it <laughs> Is it you? You wish. No. I wish. <laughs> That'd be so I, cool. I successfully asked Mudcat three times how the first episode went uh, yeah. on the road to this weekend. So yeah. I'm, you know, I'm batting yeah. a thousand. I'm super, super excited uh, to not ask him how it went because I've somehow thought I missed it three weeks in a row. <laughs> now I can actually fucking be there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, you know, it's a nice gesture, whether, you know, <laughs> like, hey, hey, when's, how'd the first episode go? It doesn't launch till the 12th. <laughs> like you're ahead of the game. <laughs> I continually wake up thinking that I've missed something important. <laughs> it's okay. it confusing. We had a soft launch and kind of, you know, we've been play testing. So, but, you know, this is first official, like the whole shebang. No one's seen it yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is it. Good deal. Exciting. Anybody else got anything cool going on? I have something, but it's not streaming related. Do it. Send it. So I've been working very hard for months on a project for work at Corsair, and it finally happened, and it's out. And you guys should go check it out. But obviously, we're partnering with Far Cry 6, which is super cool. My friends at Ubisoft, uh, and we got a bunch of dope stuff that we're doing in partnership with them. You can win 
a badass one of a kind custom PC, which is awesome. Or if you're trying to pick up the game, you know, you just buy some Corsair products, get the game for free, pretty dope. But anyway, if you want to check that out, Corsair.com slash Far Cry 6. It's got all, all you need, and I'm very proud about everything that we've done. It's been a lot of stress, so yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. Okay, yes. So uh, I'll, I'll give uh, I'll give the condensed version. It lets and shoots fucking RGB light all over the place with what goes on in the game. So it, it like immerses yeah. yourself. It actually looks yeah. better than the theater experience that I can get in my <laughs> hometown. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds it, about right. It does look really really cool. You know, I got four sticks of RGB RAM over there. I can light this some bitch up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, b- by the way, when are we? Uh, when are we gonna uh, announce to take pre-orders on George's fan? We all want to. We're all waiting <laughs> oh, to know. I mean, everybody, I know you've been working does. on this, but everybody really wants to know George's fan. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a whole thing. You'd be surprised the internal conversations that I've had because of that fan so uh imagine like the like you put it right behind you on stream and like you you do the lighting so that all the rgb is coming from the front and it's like a it's like the silhouette of a bond villain in front of a you know like a giant awesome <laughs> you just put it on your stream you just just giant fan behind you just... i might just have to do that yeah so my uh, big announcement over here, we're going to be doing a charity stream for pancreatic cancer next Friday. We're going to start nice. teasing it out over the weekend, but there will be a cast of folks I have never played D&D with before in my entire life, let alone created content with. So very excited uh, to partner with the Ben group and do something really, really cool. Kick cancer's ass. So we will have some uh, Friday night programming next week. Wait for all the details on it. We're going to start at, uh, let's see here, 8 p.m. EDT. So to be, yeah, so I can just say that. 8 p.m. Eastern time is when we're going to start. We're going to go for four hours and raise some money. So I'm excited to play with some new folks. There's been a lot of onboarding. I forget how long and ridiculous the onboarding is starting to get. <laughs> it's like a solid hour. But still improvements from back when character creation took a solid hour. So I'm still doing all right. Still coming ahead on that. For everybody who joined us at PAX West and was vaccinated that came out, you guys are awesome. Uh, overall, PAX had a 90 three percent vaccination rate and if you take out kids they were at 97 percent. so cheers to y'all for making it a safe weekend you guys were so much safer than all the airports combined that's an absolute cattle drive and shit show but the folks that were out and about i got to uh unfortunately see astineal and uh <laughs> fortunately got to see hollow very cool got ourselves some pictures enjoyed lots of voodoo ranger i cannot thank patrick and alex and jow and nell star we were literally the lifeblood of a uh, uh, of a, a social life for pax and it was awesome you will not want to miss the next time the voodoo ranger bar gets together again it was great there were speeches there were toasts there were hugs and appropriately distanced fist bumps for those who wanted them it was good times uh to be honest with you this was uh if you guys came out to pax you got a rare treat because you normally don't get to have all that much personal time uh the way that we did and it was a blast I had a good time but i'm very very happy very happy to be back home the traveling sucks so so bad in the COVID era it is not fun and if you uh do fly for god's sakes go get your pre-check <laughs> you can get out of the cattle drive it's really bad <laughs> but uh yeah so there's some there's some cool stuff brewing from pax uh hopefully uh, you guys get some extra programming out of it because that's what it's all about it's about making contacts and uh making new business at these conventions so hopefully you guys get some more D about it that's what we uh that's what we're going for so let's raise those voodoo rangers 
to Patrick, our Wrangler, our head honcho. Thank you so much. You are the shit. Thank you for all the juice over the weekend and beyond. Mm. Oh, God, that's good. Good to have Glam back with us after a hi hiatus of uh, odd-timed episodes and work deals. Well, yeah, it's been a longer time since we've played with him. Yeah, I missed, well, I've missed I forgot. one, so it's been two. Right, but yeah, but then we missed two uh, more. Three, three weeks. Oh, God. Yeah, three weeks. Yeah. I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot. I was just thinking that. Like, it's we did. It time. feels like an eternity. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> we missed you. I've been. We, uh, how crazy everything's been. It's cool. We were just in the belly of a worm. It's no big deal. No big yeah, deal at all. Yeah, I'm the same without you. You may not have almost made it through. <laughs> you can talk to Rogar about that later. <laughs> That's true. You did almost die. Magic items. <laughs> no, that was the shitty part. <laughs> but we didn't melt inside of its belly, so we got to consider that as the win. <laughs> and if we survive tonight, you know, hey, who knows? <laughs> Anything is possible. If. if. Ah. Uh, uh, without further ado, let's kick this bad boy off. Last episode. <laughs> I don't know why that little L was so funny to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're all nervous. Someone's got the giggle together, fits. Glam. We're together. We're just getting started. Coming out of literally the belly of the worms. Using a underground passageway to dart past King Mazarus' foes. And the court that all still are consumed by the tadpoles that have altered their minds. You guys have pushed forward, heading towards the literal city of the forlorn. Learning of the real plot and prophecy that beholds the tribe of Jade Tears. An unstable underwater volcano set to be ruptured by the Underdark, increasing the size of the fissure below. The truth of Princess Kalyani's suicidal mission below. Revealing her true intentions of converting all of her people versus losing everything. You guys push towards the bleach city of the forlorn, diving into the depths, snagging a couple of crystals along the way, which will mechanically allow yourselves to have one reset from now until the end. You shared crystal light over your final thoughts before the long push. However, Asher opening up his book, revealing the secrets of the past campaign, seeing a scene of whirlpools and piracy, now possessing an amulet of the true Lord of the Deep. Valus to Org himself. An instant divine intervention in his possession from a nat 20. You guys are ready to make your way through the depths. Fully rested and pushing forward. You guys begin to swim through the darkness. I need stealth rolls from everyone. Oh, that sound, that crispy campfire sound on the 20. <laughs> Damn, that was good. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> it's just like how you said that. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, big guy, the sun's getting real low. <laughs> <laughs> Down in the depths. All right. Generate stealth check incoming. Let's get the old calculatrice out for tonight. Oh, boy. Here we oh, go. Oh, buddy. 17 for Jinred. Anybody doing any modification to their uh, number? I have, oh yeah, I'm an inspo. Let me throw an inspo on here. I have inspos as well. I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, yeah. I'm going to throw a 30 20. Well. 30 20 for a loon. Thank you, Chet. That puts me at 15. 15 for Barracudon. 11 for Gitsy. 11 would be the low mark, so it gets tossed. Thanks to Josiah's nat 20. It's ironic that even at that point, the, the turtle person has like... Like you're the one. <laughs> Say it. Go ahead. Wow. <laughs> Am I a little loud? It's my it's squeaky well. old bones, okay? okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Total 18.6. Success. As you guys push down with only bioluminescence and the small amount of light from the crystals. You push further down into the depths. Well, going lower generally means colder. You can feel the streams of incredibly hot pockets of water as they jet up in and out to the point where when it brushes against you it feels as if it might actually blister your skin I need perception checks from everyone to be able to avoid these current pockets as you wade your way down. Success, Mang. Uh, perception? Yes. See, that was performance. It's hearing or smell into account or no? Unfortunately, no. This is just okay. feeling your way out. It <laughs> doesn't matter. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well done. Tried to burn Gitsy, those 20s you, you, now. You roll performance <laughs> instead of perception. You got to roll perception. Gitsy. Oh, I thought my... Oh, did I hit... No, you roll performance. Right. Yeah. I don't know if your perception's better, but... It isn't. It was not think so. <laughs> cool, Adam. Keep calling me out. I was trying to help. Hey, I was trying to the help. Lowest roll possible. <laughs> Shut the hell up. So instead of a twelve, I now have a ten. <laughs> Gitsy, you find yourself aloft in one of these steam pockets. Eight points of steam damage. Uh, steam uh, pockets just makes me think of like soggy hot pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. I was trying to help. <laughs> Finally, a 
echoing through this last layer of darkness, you begin to see a city of coral. Bleached again, but stained in blood. Not unto familiar from the tribe of Jade Tears, but eerily not much different from where you found Captain Kirkley in the ambush for the first time. As you all settle back down behind one of these bleached buildings, the blood is thick, but the sharks are thicker. Do I recognize any of these sharks? Can I roll a perception? Again? You can certainly try. All right. Okay, well, five. Barracudon would like to do the same. <laughs> We're good. We're not far now. We just have to push a little bit further south. Uh, uh, south or, or down? That's a good point there, Kitsy. Uh, I'm just curious. I, I want to be helpful. It looks like you have a large blister there. Let's not talk about it. Listen, okay? I'm... Getting my bearings a little bit, and it takes a little if, while to get there, and I'm sure it'll heal on its own, and there's nothing to talk about here. Just saying, if you need some help. No, 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 no. Definitely not. I'm, I'm very good. And she tries to kind of cover up her blister a little bit. And every time she touches it, like I'm trying to hide it, it clearly hurts. It's in pain. You're not supposed to touch a blister. But you tell like her pride in trying to be like, I know my way is under the water, it'll be fine, is trying to override her right now. <sighs> if anybody has any bright ideas about getting around these sharks and down into the throne room, I'm all ears. I don't. I. Why are we? Why is this a discussion? We. You. You were. You were all there when we beat, uh, like, a, a ten sharks, and they were way bigger than these ones. Why are we worried about these these tiny sharks? <sighs> these things have a way of adding up. Is it maybe, but Gitsy, I mean, she she literally rode a shark. Uh, one time, and I haven't found her since, so that's not quite the same thing. And isn't the plan to try and not make noise before we, like, get there? Yes. We should, we should just try and be quiet and sneak wherever we need to go. Mm. Yeah, I suppose that is the arcane thing to do. think it's necessarily like arcane i just think it's like the the, the smart path I mean, forward i mean i think we're saying the same thing i think we're in agreement yes oh okay mm -hmm. mm. right um so what's the best way down without getting noticed everyone look for a good spot maybe Yes, yes. Perhaps we'll find the right thing. 
can I? Can I? This is probably not gonna work, but can I? Uh, watch out, Arg, doing that. Uh, it takes control at the moment. Can I put my ear to the ground and see if there's anything to listen to? I don't know that there'd no. be vibrations or anything. You would need uh, echolocation. Okay, fair enough. Can I just roll a perception? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. See if I can see any, like, safe path. 24. Yeah. Pretty much better than that. 16. Seeing these two younglings looking out across the water in an area that she typically feels confident in, I would like to also roll a perception. Yes, there might be something out there. No, no, there isn't. I don't think anything could be out here. <laughs> this is clearly a barren land. <laughs> Silly. Don't waste your time. She's Shannon, when did this turn into a pissing match of who can get us through this murky water the fastest? He just shrugs his shoulders. I don't know. Hey, Loon. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That 24, you stare out and you can see they seem to be going on a pretty steady pattern. If you're quick enough, you should be able to dip below that ridge. But that's if you try to beat the pattern. Because you have to go as the crow flies. There won't be any skulking if you do so. Risk reward. Lower DC if you're quicker. Take your time and hide. Higher DC. Let, uh, let's see. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, can I engage my boots of speed? You may do so. What is the timer that starts? It's 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Noted. One, two, three. Uh, hey, 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 I got something here. Follow me. And I'm, Aloon's going to sprint off for his opening. <laughs> Where are you going? All right, Just so follow a, me to the a, loon, a loon has chosen for the party. I mean, the minute to follow me. Well, the the minute that you go, the essentially it is it's engaging that that moment. Okay, we're going. Fair enough. <laughs> so Full so we, when a loon engages his boots and takes off like a bat out of hell, trying to get to the edge. <laughs> of this platform how, how far is it i can go 100 feet without him uh telling anyone except for the person next to him you guys will be rolling dexterity at disadvantage gitsy since you are normally the person that he confides to next to yeah. you will you will be a straight roll all right it's going to be a DC 15 to get the over the edge and down. So is it is a deck save? Yep. Or is it? Okay. Deck save. Got it. <laughs> My God. Well, Rip. thank God chat gave me a D6 inspo because I'm going to need it. Mm. I'm also going to roll a d6. <laughs> yeah, let's go. That puts me at 18. Oh. Woo. All right. Woo. 18 for Josiah. A loon, what is yours? Um, it was a dex. Let me roll it real quick. Dirty 20. 
use a D. I don't. I don't roll with disadvantage, right? Because I know I'm going. No, I mean you have advantage on yours. Oh, I've got advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. like you just darted out with a like a bat out of hell. Two dirty twenties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, eighteen twenty. Barracudon's twelve. Kudon is 12. Gitsy? 18. Nice. Ah. Asher? 16. No! God. <clears throat> Hold on for the guts! Ah. Hey. Oh, Kirkley, no. Does Kirkley have inspo? <laughs> Kirkley does not have inspo. All right. Divided by seven. 15.14. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gina, through you. Not oh, like my chinny chin chin. Good <laughs> God. <laughs> As he takes off like a bat out of hell. Over the ridge. I gotta go. You guys tuck down below, just missing this first parole patrol of sharks. Dropping down, sinking below the ridge. Now a whole new territory of literal shark frogger. God. As you've chosen this sequence, more gas, more go, baby. But at least you're all on the same page. This is just a dead sprint down to the coral below. There's going to be two consecutive checks on this. However, since you got the jump on this, the DC is 14. Flat dexterity saving throws. Actually, no, these are not these are not saves anymore. These are now ability checks. So okay. you may use your acrobatics or athletics through the water. I would argue Arcana. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> Clearly, this is magical. Uh, oh. oh! Oh! Let's go! Oh no. my God! I'm catfish tonight. Let's go! Oh, look at these numbers. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I saw that one. It's a nine. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Shit. Damn. Uh oh. <laughs> that's with that's, a, plus 10 that's a good average, though. That's yeah, a good average. Wrong. All right, uh, Josiah, you're number on. 20. De uh, nat 20. Nat 20, so Ooh. I'm at low at a five, so it's going to drop off. This is going to be between six folks. Uh, Kirkley's going to use his acrobatics. All right. Kirkley's a plus 15. All right, Elune. 26. Yeah, 26. Gitsy. 26. Asher. 14. <laughs> Barracudon. 25. Jesus. I mean, this. Of course, it's me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good God. Yeah, you guys crushed that one. End up getting a 21 average on it. Jinrin's like, Aah! you guys just grab him and go. Final push. DC 13. Same ability checks. Mm, there's a 20. Oh, Dirty 20. 20. Oh, good God. Another five. Yeah, nine. Oh. <laughs> Fortunately, nice. Fortunately, I can't scrub that one for you. <laughs> Good God, 20. 27 from A Loon. 27 from Barracudon. <laughs> Holy shit. 20 from Gitsy. Yes. 
great googly moogly. All right, Kirkley. We're kind of athletic, kind of. <laughs> We've been underwater long enough. We're starting to get the hang of this. Woo, 18.28. Once again, putting me in your backpack and going for a ride. Woo. Slamming to the back of this Dragula. You guys are able to just brute force get past these lanes of sharks. Oh. <laughs> hey, Luna, right. this, this is what we intended to do. <laughs> yeah, see, that, that wasn't so bad, was it? I'm going to I'm gonna click off my boots of speed if we're no longer traversing. Yes, you may. How long was that? Uh, was it? I will I will have that consume three minutes of your boots of speed. Got it. I'm going to take a minute off for each each passage on it. Sounds good. As you click those bad boys back into place. Swimming through this blood churned waters. Settling back in to what you barely remember. from your short time in the throne room, it's almost a one for one. And you hear that siren song again. But not the same. One with much more pain and sorrow in its voice. Held back, just pushing through bits and pieces of the barren landscape. Like a city abandoned. You begin to make out the bioluminescence and crystals that light the pathway to the throne of blood. Literal pockets waving in between as you pass through this devastated biosphere. You almost have to hold your gills shut. The blood can be so, so thick in certain parts. Obscuring both your vision and your senses. But the song continues. Growing closer to that throne. If there's anything that you wish to do before you push through the other side of this coral, now is the time. It could be mechanical or RP. Could I? Perhaps roll either a history or insight to see if this song is impacting us at all. You going to check magically? It, yeah, or yeah, yes, magically. If Arcane any check. Effect. Okay. Six. Unable to see any effects from the song. I 
I think uh, just uh, <clears throat> as we kind of like swim and we pause for a second, kind of imagine like Aelune and Josiah towards the front and kind of like pauses the group. I think there's like this like, even though it's very, very dark down here, very minimal light, just swimming in literal blood. Kind of just like Asher's a bit freaked out and kind of looks a little shaken the realization of what they're about to do and how far they are down and the fact that it's just blood swirling around as they swim forward and as he listens to that song he's reminded of Boulder's Gate and the tavern that really started all of this given a manifest and even though that ghost is long past in the physical form kind of realizes this is important and he looks at each of his friends around him He kind of shakes it off, takes a deep breath. We can do this, guys. We have to do this. There's a lot at stake. I don't know what we're going to face, but I'm going to do everything I can to keep you guys protected, to keep you guys safe from harm. If you need something, you let me know. I'll, I'll do my best to support. And, uh, regardless of what happens, I've learned more about life and about myself in this last month or so than I think I ever have. I appreciate that. And I appreciate all of you. If I don't make it, someone look after Vera. She won't understand. Uh, and uh, I'm going to attempt to use my inspiring leader card to inspire everyone. You. Got to see what that actually does, though. It's like, uh... So I've just made sure that everybody had their 13 temporary hit points from the thrown together feast. I want Your my level. Minus. Hi. What is the you You're going to get 10, uh, 10 HP, temporary HP. Oh. Your, your level plus your charisma modifier, so nine plus one. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So thank you. So everybody's coming in with 23 extra points. Except for me. What do you mean, except for you? Because I had the steam damage. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Look, I may have <laughs> I made know, you take. <laughs> I may have made you take eight, but I gave you back ten, so you're positive two. Okay, so you can't be mad at me. <laughs> you can't be mad at me. You're positive now. Okay. The slate is swiped clean. <laughs> what? Uh, what do you mean? If you don't make it, of course you're going to make it. Yes, but, of course. I'm not going to let you die, and uh, you know if if I'm not going to die, and if I don't die, then then you can't die because I won't let you die. Yes. Yeah. It checks out. Yes. Do the math, please. Um, 
if if you want, Alun, I, I can do that thing again that allows you to move and attack really fast. Well, I, I mean, I, I won't, I won't say no, but uh, you know, if you're if you're sure you want to waste your spells, wouldn't be a waste. Yes, I agree. Go ahead. Very arcane. Mm, I don't think you're using that right. And uh, I'll, I'll wait because I don't want to like cast it that we're here for another minute. But I can put it to no, so you're, this is your time to do so. It's yeah. fi- it's fine. It and uh, you'll see me just kind of. Uh, I'll actually like circle circle your head, and I'll do it like once and then twice, and then like you'll see this like blur of my hand, and you'll see the water pulse very fast a few more times. And then I'll just tap you on the shoulder and I'll cast haste. All right. Anyone else? I look over at Josiah. This is where we put money where our mouth's at, right? No more bullshitting about being the crane. You know, Jenrit, I've given you a lot of shit. A lot of it's deserved. But. Agreed. Do you ever feel like there's a change sometime in your life, whether you make that decision or not? And you just know. I didn't know it at the time when I saw Asher, but it's all starting to make sense now. There was a shift in me, in you, Gitsy, a loon. And I've even seen it in Barracudon. Since we've been together, it's all changed. We're going to get through this. Be who you really are. Because you know what? That's the person who saved us. More times than I'm, than my ego is willing to actually admit right now. We got this. We got this. I'll try to think about the whole picture. It's just one swim. We're going to take care of business. I'll be honest. We couldn't put our faith in the stars if we wanted to down here. We're the only ones we got. He's going to snap and turn on his star form. Now that we're down deep enough, that light begins to shine out as he projects the archer over the chalice. Let's do this. Waiting past those last bits of coral. Stepping out. And finally eyeing the blood throne. Bleached white crystals. Illuminate the pearlescent walkway, void of color. Now staring out like a moat instead of a vast window into the depths below. Nothing but blood and silver. 
in the backs of the most sharks you've ever seen. Leading back to a replica of exactly what you saw at the tribe of Jade Tears. The only color flowing from atop of this almost marble white stack of dead coral. You see the siren herself, crimson hair flowing as if it was a pool of blood around her. Skin long changed from myrrh to silver. A body part myrrh, part shark. As you see Kirkley, walking steadfast, but he still removes his hat. So this is what it's come to, Galliani. I told you I would come home. I told you I would come home. Is this is what it was all for? Nobody's won here, Galliari. It's only been pain and suffering. For all of us, myrrh and man, the creatures of the sea. And here we are. Your vision of some great city. Not a soul in it. Tainted by the underdark. It twisted your mind so many years ago. We both know that this ends here, Galliani. Only one group is walking away here today. Oh, my love. But you still have a choice. You always said that you would come home. And that trust and love, it hasn't gone anywhere. It's still here. And you know this to be true. Why else would you call this place your home? Because you deserve to be by my side. We can still make this right, Kirkley. The non-believers have been purged. You can come meet all of our children. There's so many of them now. 
But I haven't lost count. Just as I haven't lost count of the days. We've been separated. Come. Join me, Kirkley. Leave this world behind. And never look back. Wisdom saving throw for Kirkley. This is a reaction phase. Kirkley's Wisdom saving throw is coming in. Is anyone using any reaction at this point? Kitsy would like to. She'll call out to him. Don't you do this. You made a promise to us as we followed you down here that you would hold to your word. If you listen to her words now, you're listening to her dead self. You do no honor to the one, the woman that you loved while she was living. You came here to finish a story. Well, it's time for you to close that book. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check with advantage. D10. <laughs> oh, one. <sighs> Anyone else using a reaction? I will. <clears throat> I'm going to send a message to him after hearing this. Like she said, you also made a promise to me. I saved you. You looked me in the eye. And I told you not to make me regret that decision. So don't falter on your word now. As you said, when I originally signed up, I'm part of your crew now, just as much as you are ours. And I will bury you down here if I have to. Go ahead and roll persuasion check with advantage. Sixteen. Roll a one D eight. How is how is he responding to like when Gitsy is verbally speaking to him out loud? He's turned around and he's listened. He's staring back out with a calm, 
slate face. This is just framing right now for the video. He's still way mm -hmm. back over on your side. Hey, hey Loon, that if, if Gitsy's he's yelling as well and he's still staring, would he, Kirkley, I knew that uh, from the moment that I met you, I knew that we would be best friends. You, uh, you uh, enjoyed my stories. I enjoyed uh, uh, your ale and your pirate ways. And we both know that at some point you would uh, bequeath me your title and I would surpass you. We both know this. So I say this as your friend. If you take one step onto that bridge, I will kill you myself. I'm going to try to intimidate him. Advantage for bequeath and intimidate in the same role. Okay. <laughs> bequeath. For the... Be bequeath. Oh. Oh, 17. He needs it. 17. Roll 1d10. That's a dose. I don't know what it means. I know, he just says random dice after y'all said. <laughs> so six, one. I know what it means. Four. Three. Thirteen. Is Kirkley's number. Captain. Captain. I once had a suspicion about you. About honor amongst thieves. Spending time in a boat. I'll do that to you. So we're sitting on an island. With nothing but your thoughts. I've seen that happen. It's my father. It's a plague on your mind. You need to remember. You picked us for a reason. You knew why you came down here. Hold true to your course. The storm will blow as hard as it can, but a good captain never, ever lets the boat go off course. You have our trust. My trust. We're here to finish what we came down here to do. And just like when you first selected us, you know this is the crew that's going to get it done. Roll your we'll sail and win. Roll your sailing and crew check with advantage. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, almost real oh, bad. Good buddy. A lot of ones up there. 22. Roll a 1d12. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Why are we all rolling so bad? I rolled the highest on an eight with a four. <laughs> oh god. 
Jinrid sing everyone else speak before him. Kirkley still lending his ear. Captain. I'm not going to claim to know you. I'm going to love that you felt. But I can tell you about mine. I used to love to sing. I used to love to try to play. end of the day it wasn't to be if I was going to love those songs and I was going to love trying to entertain people I was going to have to let it go so I stopped trying to be a bard that day And it was the best decision of my life. If you love her, you'll let her go. Persuasion check with advantage. One D ten. Currently sitting at a fifteen. Let's go. Time set final hit. Cracks rock. Persuasion DC Laying down now It is at disadvantage But it is a plus 14 Oh my god Oh boy. I was rolled. (laughs) 17 versus the 25. Kirkley silently looks back at the rest of you and just gives a tip of his cap. and turns back around to face his love. I'm sorry, love. But our time is over. And it's time for me to bring you home. Even if it takes the rest of us sinking down below and making Davy Jones locker. Our new home. I 
After all this time, everything that we've been through, you choose these miscreants, not even my own family to stand with, and you embarrass me here in front of all of our children. They don't deserve to meet their father. They'll never meet their father! I hate you, Kirkley. I hate you more than anything. And it draws to a standstill. And then both daggers, one from her, one from Kirkley. Meet in the center as they're held in place. Swim, my children, swim. As you see up from the depths, so many, so many, <laughs> so many. <laughs> More massive spike sharks fill the water. Oh. Those daggers held together still in the same place. And don't think that I haven't forgotten what you did to my favorite child. What you did to her. What kind of abomination you turned her into. She's been waiting for you. She's been waiting for all of you. And you just see the tendrils wrap up across over the bridge. <laughs> As Megalo Crabtopus reaches up and over the bridge. What a name. The carved up undead bits of her pet Megalodon fashioned with the rest of the sharks that you have murdered over time. I need everyone to roll for initiative in just a second when I put you guys in the order. When I get you guys all queued up, yeah. you guys can go refill those beverages right now. Use the restroom. We have all burned our reactions in round one, except for Barracudon. Oh. I'm grabbing a beer. <laughs> Make it a double. <laughs> So much for getting initiative first. (laughs) (laughs) Oh boy, what a big board. How are you guys doing in chat land? You guys are gripped to the edge of your seats with us. We appreciate the hell out of y'all. At least the sharks don't have lasers. Very true. Saw a good card lock, you'll have to post it. Look at these odds. It is a push to the throne. That is for sure. She's got quite the guard in front of her. (laughs) 
<laughs> Did I go up one level in DMing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, man. It's going down. This is a scary fight. It's a very scary fight. <laughs> What's with Kirk and Princess Ugly Babies? <laughs> He's got a lot of babies. <laughs> that face glam. That face. What are you thinking, Glam? <laughs> I, I'm Ben. Uh, yeah. I'm very excited. I was, about to, you know, I was about to address him, but that, but then Generate had it. I was like, okay, that's cool. I was I had a thing I was gonna do, but we're good. So now I'm just thinking about getting to chopping with axes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yours is going to be rough not knowing him for very long. Probably not getting the advantage for on sure. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah, like, yeah. man, I don't want to put him in that position. I was like, shit, it's come around to me. Fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I grabbed two because it's, it's going down. All right. Everybody's loaded up. You're ready to throw them dice, baby. Oh boy, okay, all right. Oh, God damn. I'm hasted and I roll a two on initiative. How does that work? Don't you have advantage? <laughs> wow. Have advantage? I don't think I do on the initiative. I'm not trying to minimize him, but that. Oh, baby! Michaelo Craptopus just looks like he's got oven mitts on. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm coming to Yay. take out the cookies. <laughs> Wait, isn't there a card? Isn't there a card to reroll your initiative? Relentless is. Relentless. Oh, I have one. Oh, um, I got one. Do I? I do. I have. I have a relentless card. I'm gonna reroll my initiative for sure. I have much better. I have a plus five. I'm like halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna burn one. I wanna reroll my initiative. Mine's a 17 instead. <clears throat> Mine's a 15 instead. Let's go! Mark the proof. How do I reroll it? I just rolled from DD Beyond. Here, I, I love watching tons of dice roll. It's so satisfying. You can uh, reroll now. What's yours, uh Josiah? It actually updated it for you. It's worse. Why is it always worse? <laughs> it's always snakes. Gosh dang it! I'm still laughing about is this the sci-fi channel when you said make a little crack? <laughs> Pretty sure I saw this in Sharknado Seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Like, they, they made seven. <laughs> Speaking of, how about those Sharknado cards in Magic? <laughs> They're Freaking real pain stupid. in the ass. Freaking they stupid. They can be a pain in the ass. Oh yeah. god! All right, so more clear. The line yeah, of really crystals cool. is the spiritual starting line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gitsy, it is your turn. Barracudon, and then. Queen Kalyani the blood render third. Oh my like god. Point out, I got a oh. nat 20 to get that first place. Oh, Let's nice. go. Oh yeah. Only plus one. <laughs> All right. For her turn, just coming out swinging. You don't stand alone against her, Kirkley. And Gitsy pulls out that golden hammer and just starts swinging it to throw it straight at our oven mitt, dude. 
<laughs> Seems like the best choice we can do right now. Keep, keep calling them that and they'll bite your head off. Right, well, you oh, it was almost it another. It was, it was almost another nat 20. Dirty <laughs> 20, though. Dirty 20 does hit. Yes. Look at me, big guy. You and I. She's just going to call him out. Because what what could happen? This will be fine. Okay, 12. And then I will add in my uh, Divine Smite as well. Okay, first things first. Mm -hmm. uh, the 12 points of damage are what type? Yes. They are bludgeoning. All right. Smashing. You break the fish with a hammer. Gotcha. Smash its brain. That's the goal, at least. <laughs> Those 12 points will land. Perfect. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, then we are going to do smite because that's seeking, or not smite. Um, well, you all know what I'm trying to do. Yeah, smite, divine smite. I'm just going to keep it simple for right now. Okay, six points of damage on top of it. What type? Uh, radiant. Six points of radiant damage. Mm -hmm. They will apply. Perfect. All right. If you can take one hint, you can take two. Take this. And she's going to swing that hammer one more time. Just stay focused on me. One eye and then, then the next. For a 26 to hit. 26 will hit. 15 plus an additional six. 21. I added right. Bludgeoning. 21 bludgeoning. 21. <laughs> Cracking shells over the Gitsy, moving that long bar of health down. You yeah, focus on me bar. and just me. And that will be her turn. Roll an intimidation check. Yes. You may <laughs> use your, uh... okay, you got it on there. Sweet. 21. 21. All right, noted. Look at me. With, with your, with your, you, can't, you have to look from the side so you can see me. <laughs> You're staring the megalocrabapus. Stop it. Over here. <laughs> you can't look straight forward. Look to your left and you can see me. There we go. All right. Any movement for you, Gitsy? I moved right up next to Kirkley. He does not stand alone. <laughs> and neither do I. <laughs> Back here, the tree stands on his own. <laughs> Barracudon, it is your turn. Barracudon puts a hand on Kirkley's shoulder, tells him, It pains me to admit that outside of the people of the Jade Tears, you may be the only one that loved the princess more. But I tell you that that is not her. That is not the princess that we knew. It is not the princess that you loved. He then looks up at the crab to shark to puss and yells, if you got one eye on Gitsy, on Gitsy you better put the other on me and charges on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. Here comes the swing. First axe flying, you know, the triple axe move of Barracuda. <laughs> 17? 17 does not hit. Oh, I knew it. I was like, all of Gitsy's were like 20. I'm like, is 17 good enough? Yeah. <laughs> not testing those was... waters for you, boy. <laughs> uh, first axe is a whiff. The second one comes on in right behind it. 19 will hit. Let's go. I'd send you my reaction, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> 13 slashing. 13 slashing. Oh, we also have to do his uh, Storm Aura. Which I'll just it, roll. It's so large. There's no way of getting away oh, cool. from it. Just roll the six. 
you're punching a skyscraper, so it's just, it's gonna take it. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So just roll cool. the that six. Okay. I see our little bodies next to it, and it's just fucking <laughs> huge. <laughs> yeah, right? But I just keep seeing it, and I just see him saying, Hey, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Road. <laughs> and then, uh, so that's from the Storm Aura, and then we'll do our last swing here. Come on, Barracudon. Damn it. Rip. That's going to be another whiff. Oh, no. 17 again. Oh. <laughs> that will miss. DC is 18. Da dang. Well, now we know. Annoying is a very small part of this battle. <laughs> Anybody got this man of inspo? Oh, you know oh, what? I'll, I'll burn one. I've got a D8 here that that is burning a hole in my pocket. There we yeah, go. Baby. Let's go. Let's go. And here comes the damage swing. Mm, good yeah. one. Oh, yeah. 18 more slashy slash. Needs it. All right. Another 18 points of damage. Real far away. It's very far. This is a large chamber. Ooh, Princess of the Underdark. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm nervous, okay? I do this because I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Out. Anything else for your turn, Barracudon? No, that is it. We are in the mix. Blood on the axes. Still both of those daggers locked up against each other in the middle of the chamber. Caliani pulls out a shrimp-like pistol <clears throat> pops a shot off at Kirkley as she maneuvers to the side. Literal shrimp pistol shot. <laughs> oh, 17. Shrimp gumbo, shrimp oh. pistols. It's it's with advantage. Oh, she has oh. Pistols? got a shrimp pistol. It's a very rare item. <laughs> it reminds me of like, it's going very to, rare. like going to Galveston as a kid, and there'd be like shaped water guns of like dolphins and things <laughs> like that, and having one as like a shrimp. Mm -hmm. The pistol's name is Gary. <laughs> What kind of projectiles does it have? Andouille sausages. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ouch, 19. Ooh. 19 <laughs> points of piercing damage. Oh, oh, okay. So it's, uh, I, I see how it combines it now. All right. So Kirkley's going to take the full 19 of piercing and thunder. Gitsy, you being next to him, the concussion from the shrimp pistol <laughs> expands. You take four points of thunder damage. Got it. Oh, this thing's wild. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, she's going to begin concentrating on a spell in her other hand All right, 
with no one I with a reaction to be able to do anything. <laughs> Rips out a lightning bolt across the back line. <laughs> Third level. DC dexterity 23 saving throw from everyone. Oh my God. Thank you for the haste. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Um, it's Bowen, it's Bowen. So I don't have any inspiration. I fail that by 13. <laughs> Oof. Oh no. Sorry, oh I my god! Evasion. I can have that. No! I roll a 21 and I still fail! I'm rolling my <laughs> I'm rolling my die. I'm rolling my damn die, chat gave me. Do it. Come on, Shady, give me that inspo. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I need two please. or more. Okay. Oh my god, he's Let's go. There it is. There it is. He just gave it to you. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you, Shady. Those that are 10 feet around me also get a plus one to their saving throw. Oh, oh, I don't have to use my inspo then. So that's that's every oh, yeah, everybody yeah. spiritually gets that on the back line. So everybody's got a plus one. Whoa, oh, yeah. Whoa yeah. dude, you just bust the glass. How dope is that? Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, that's that's a cool effect. Dude. Oh, that's so cool. Well, with, I, with her aura, that makes mine an 11. <laughs> I get. I just. I just say with get these in or or. Oh, you're Sorry. not. You're not on the line, Barracudan. Oh, you're all yeah, the way yeah, up front. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who? Uh, who, Gucci. who rolled the twenty then? Me. Okay. Gets. Dope. 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 Okay. So you'll take no damage. Yes. Gets is rolling all twenties tonight. Low. Please be low. <laughs> what was the total damage? It just went. It's twenty three. It's. Oh. Sweet. There goes all my 10 pit points. Lit. Nice. I can have that because of evasion. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> uh, on a save, is it half? Uh, yes. Save is half. All right. Well. Ouch. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, sh do, do I need to make concentration for the haste or does he? Um, How did we know. rule that? Is it on the wearer or is it on me? Uh, most of the time I put it to like polymorph. I put it on them so then you can cast another spell. Okay, okay so I need to I need to roll a con save. Yeah, so it's still his. Uh, it's still his spell save DC. Okay. Um, which is seventeen. I have to roll. Okay, I have to roll seventeen. Oh, that's a high con check. I spell save DZ. Wait, I got a, I got a, I got a D10. And you made the save, so I could argue you have advantage. Maybe. Whoa, whoa, maybe. whoa, 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 whoa. You make his, uh, you use his ability, his concentration check ability, but it's the, the DC on this is your, your damage. What was your, what oh, damage yeah, did you yeah, take? Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I took, so I took 12. You took 12. So the DC. 13. Yeah. Yeah. The DC. Yeah, DC's just 13 then. Okay. Or no, no, yeah, it's yeah, half, right. so it's 10. It's 10 right now. It's just a 10. Okay. So, so you, ma you made it. You're good. Okay. Yep. Oh, hey, so cool. Yep. Yes, it is, chat. All right. Aloon's turn. I would like to bonus action click my heels together to engage my boots of speed. Turning my, on turning my 100 feet of movement into 200 feet of movement. <laughs> That's ridiculous. For no reason. Other than I, I just can. Swim. Uh, Swim. Uh, if I move out, if I move out here, what, like, is it? What happens? You before? find the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, just before other combat we've done, we've been able to, like, move freely in the water, so I didn't know. Um, yeah, right now, you, yes, you can move freely in the water. Uh, well, I will move, uh, and I've got, I'm going to move out to this shark to attack it. Um, 
fly past any kind of check getting there. Okay, and I'm I'm moving with 200 walking. I'm moving so fast that it's like it's like a, a blur. It's like instant transmission almost in my brain. Like in my brain, that's how I'm seeing it. You guys might watch me like run in the water, like but in my brain, I'm like Pew! I'm there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack with the four pull sword. Get it. 17 to hit on that shark. 17 will hit. All right, first damage coming in. 10 slashing damage. I will swing again. 13 to hit. I will use a uh, inspo. 13 hits. Oh, 13 hits. Oh, never mind. Yep. 11 more points of damage. That's 21. Um, and then I will um, uh, actually move because I'm hasted. I'm going to move here. He's going to have disadvantage on that attack of opportunity. I'm going to move the, to the big crab shark guy. All right. And take an, take an attack on him as well. So currently it has blood frenzy, so it'll be a straight roll for you on the bite. Okay. Oh, of course. What? My AC is 21 and everything. Good God. 27 points of piercing damage. Okay. I knew I should have transformed. First. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, well. Um, it looks cool, so whatever. Uh, okay. I'm swinging last attack on the big guy here. Oh. oh the bite um, just taking it out of you. I'm going to use my inspo on that one then. Uh, 17 is not going to do it. No. All right. Fair enough. I did not see that nat top 20 coming. <sighs> Kirkley is going to swim out to the right side as well. He's going to pull his pistol out. Daggers are thematically locked for the first round of combat. He's going to get his pistol out. Unfortunately, he does not have a combatant over there, so his is a straight up roll. Oh, no, no. Rockish Audacity. Let's go. Let's go. Rogue shit. Let's go. Rogue shit going in. Come on, Kirk. Come on. 23 will hit. Pistol damage. Oh, good rock back. Good rock back. 17 points of piercing damage. He's going to add on his sneak attack. <laughs> 24 total points as he fires back. And yes, Kalyani does not have an active health bar. That you guys get to see. <laughs> it means it's probably ridiculous. What is this monster hunt? Mm. Yeah, kind of. He's going to pop off a second shot at a uh, Megalo Sharktopus. No sneak attack, though. That was Radio's nickname in college. Megalo Shark. Plus a sneak attack. Because I went by both. 17. Oh it's God. not going to hit. Cursed that's by a, this shit. The number. That's the number tonight. Seriously. And normally I'm so excited to see the number 17. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. What's the swim speed on these guys? All right. 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. Sharks coming in hot. Josiah Marquis. Oh, man. I mean, after that last speech, I've got to kind of back 
Cap's play on this. So I'm going to swing over here with him. I'm going to pop a shot off at this guy as I do and grab my cross station, pull it back and whisper. All right, Sebastian, let's give him the full deal. As I pull my, my <laughs> arm back, you can see the tattoo start to pulse as it's pouring necrotic energy into this dart. Ooh, we could ever use a paralyzed. <laughs> this would be it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fifteen to hit. Who are you aiming at? This one right here. Um, uh, there it is. Oh, okay, you're not going for Megalo Shark. Uh, uh, no, shark no, 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 no. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm looking at a more immediate threat than this gigantic monster. All right, got it. Yep, that'll hit. There's that. It also will get necrotic damage coming from the tattoo. All right, 13 on the first. Gonna make his con saving throw. Oh, oh damn. Success. Not paralyzed. That's all right. It's got, it still has sneak attack that's, uh, that it's going to get on top of that. Mm hmm. It's taking that, and then I need to get the damage from my tattoo. That is going to be an additional. Ah, there it is. Another five points. Stack it. Stack it and pack it. All right. 13, 18, 5 on that first shot. Shark's looking rough. You got to roll to see if you get your poison back. Come on, baby. Let's see that five or six. No! Oh, it looked, hey, it wasn't a one. That's all that matters. Uh, it wasn't a one. I get to roll my next turn to see if I got it. I'm going to take right. a uh, another shot. This won't have sneak attack loaded into it uh, or um, anything else other than just cross station doing cross station stuff. Seventeen. That'll hit. Here it comes. That is going to do an additional fifteen points damage, and it doesn't have to worry about the saving throw. And there's no sneak attack. Uh, that's not the offhand shot though. Um, it will not receive. It'll be the. It'll get the two d six rolls, so it's a ten. Yeah, and that's it. Doesn't get the extra bonuses other than its own bonus to damage, which the cross station is a plus what weapon? Plus two? Uh, plus three. No, you don't have plus three weapon yet. I'm just looking at the formula. One D six plus three plus two plus one D six. So I imagine it's plus three. Then no. the other part is plus two. Correct. Plus All two. right, so it's 12 points of damage. Because it's your two dice plus the weapon damage dice. Just barely hanging on. Bees dicks left to life. <laughs> um, uh, bu -bu 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 Nothing left in bonus action to try and get that done. Yeah, that's it for me. Movement shots out. <laughs> I stand with Kirkley for better or for worse at this point. <laughs> God help me. 
I just heard Jerry Seinfeld go like, what is the deal with beach dick jokes? Like, <laughs> like this character from Beat Story. <laughs> I mean, come on, what is the deal? Oh man, I have to hold my turn for massive damage because I fear for the worst. So Jinrich's just Jinrich's just holding in that chalice form, knowing that this uh, megalocrabdopus is gonna fucking lay the smack down at some point in time. Shark number four, way back in the cheap seats. One, two. Swimming down. Asher, it is your turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> well then, uh, Asher will take out a dagger and he will toss it in front of him. And then with his other hand, he will catapult the dagger at this sharky shark. So that shark needs to make a dex 17 save uh, could you highlight that again uh by the way they're all numbered if you can give me a, give me the number that'd be great oh uh what shark is it uh shark six got it this guy thank so you he's a dex saving 17. Let's go, mm. gonna fail. Hey. He will take 22 piercing damage because it's a dagger. Yo, let's go, DTD. <laughs> let's Ooh. go. Ooh, down. Uh, yeah, he just kind of throws the dagger up and then with his other hand, he just puts two fingers forward and it shoots and strikes right through and then you see him kind of just with his other hand he just grabs and he pulls and you see the knife just kind of like rip through and back out and start just floating in the water let's get it first one down baby and uh i will move oh nope that's not what i wanted to do like here here trying to be like in the group yeah maybe there <laughs> i'm just gonna move a little bit i don't want to get too close but uh yeah i'm just like trying to stay nearish everyone yo everybody's got a plus one to their roles you guys unlock the community goal everybody's got a plus one to stream loots Get us those cards to make us live. Uh, Spike Shark number five didn't have its initiative in, so I rolled it. So I'm taking its turn now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's coming. End of Asher's turn. Spark Shake number three. One, two, three, four. Oh, the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm hoping it can't see me because I'm too close, like in Pitch Black with Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> That's up at his blind spot. Just, just like watching. Yeah. All right. It's going to reach out with its oven mitt claw and it's gonna snag you a loon with a call oh it's probably swinging oh no, let's go oh, it is oh, oh, oh. No. net one at 200 oh, feet of movements <laughs> with it over committing and leaning over and missing you this bad boy is going to lose its bite attack with that nat one this round. Nice. Yeah, suck it. Losing it. its balance. It. 
lashing out with its tentacle at you, Barracudon. No. Oh. No. Just a plus 17? AC 17. Good uh, God. 23 points of bludgeoning damage. What? Fun fact, guys. If he, if he rolls a nat 1, he still hits me. <laughs> <laughs> Perspective. <laughs> All right. You've got to make a... DC 18 strength or dex strength let's go you are not grappled and restrained how much damage was it again 28? 23 23 so that's all my temp cool same dude it's cool it's like we got a free battle round yeah All right, Spike Shark number one. It's going in on you, swimming as fast as he can, Josiah. <laughs> Bite attack. 25. Uh, let's get it done. Oh, they do have advantage because blood in the water, feeding frenzy. Who's bleeding? Everyone. <laughs> 20 points of piercing damage. Yahtzee. Uh, yep, got it. Damage taken. Why 10 hit points? You were good while you lasted. Top of the round. Gitsy, it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Daggers both going back into their hands. Kirkley's and Kalyani's. Interesting. Well that fancy now that you have your little dagger back make sure that you're doing some real damage with it now so we can be effective <sighs> let's see if we can bring some light down into this darkness and she will cast moonbeam landing straight on our crab mitten hand dude It was a regular laugh. I just accidentally oh, hit her voice. <laughs> sinister. Was it a trap? It's like, kind of with you. There's no moon down here. <laughs> I was real scared. All right. Don't forget I have crap. Yeah, oh, my God. Oh! Oh, my light and your anger upon this transportation that is just a pure disgrace of what you have created. What the fuck's a rapture crawl? You know. Why, why do you have why do you have everything in <laughs> DC? <laughs> Alright, what do I uh what save do I need to make? Constitution saving 13. Not high. Oh god. Is it already it's got a pretty good constitution grade. Please be in that one. Probably. One can hope. I don't see how I could. He's mostly cartilage. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh Nat no! 1! Let's go! Nat 1! Two Nat 1s! Let's go! Get out of here! Let's go! Max damage! <laughs> yeah! Watch, it's another whole set of Nat 1s. <laughs> Please be good. It's oh, max damage. Why? Oh, you oh, almost actually deep? called it. Because it's a one? Oh, okay. Sweet. Well, that's going to be 30 points of damage then. Let's go. And Moonbeam also does something else to them, right? If it is a shape changer, it will, if it fails, it instantly reverts back to its original form. Not a shape changer. Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, so, 30 damage. 30 damage of radiant. Oh, yeah. Take that. <laughs> that's 30. That's going to be 30 radiant damage the next next turn as well. Yes. Getting yes. getting getting your money's worth. Let's go. Well done. I told you. You pay attention to me. See that light? It's from me. Look at me, you stupid <laughs> little blue-eyed shark crab thing look at you you poor little thing focus on me and i will help chop you up and put you right <laughs> to make a 
make sushi out of him? Yeah, well, Barracudon, you, know, you have advantage on your attacks. Calamari, frog legs. Let's go. We got the whole let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I was gonna burn a fighting spirit, but I guess I don't need to, huh? Mm -mm. The floor is yours. Okay, great. We are in it then, face first. We're gonna keep swinging. And, and that's advantage, advantage on all attacks. those attacks. And everything's plus one. <laughs> right? No, that's for chat. That's saving. That's saving throws. Uh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, also, your aura is max damage because it uh, cannot evade as well. So we instantly take six then? Yep. Uh, and that's a 24. I'm rolling the damages on it. So five more there. We swing again. Oh, good. That one. <laughs> no. One no one look. <laughs> and oh my, my bonus swing also terror. Oh no, we hit on that one. Keep damaging. Let's yeah. go. Another 19 points of damage. 19, 16, and five from the aura. Yo, you guys making good, good work on Megalo Sharktopus. About a quarter of its health, as you can see, part of its seams are starting to come loose. Let's go. Oh God. <laughs> oh god <laughs> dagger back in the hand of queen kaliani <laughs> spins and this dagger of the deep goes towards kirkley oh man advantage Oh, 36. Eleven points of piercing damage. He's got to make a DC 19 at con saving throw. Yikes. Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna Wait, use that eight that they sent he's him. One, he gets one from me too. Oh shit, he gets oh, the one! No, I'm not. Without me. I'm not next to you. Back. I'm not next to you anymore. What? No, oh what shit. You me? You, are, you are you 10 feet away? Yeah, oh, I'm, 15, right. I'm 15 feet away. Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll burn my, I gotta burn my D8 so I can, so I can pass it. <laughs> Let's see here. What does this thing do? Okay. Um, I'm gonna use my reaction. All right. My war. My ward is gonna go up. I am not blinded for a minute, and I take half of 96 necrotic damage. Oh my god. All right, so that's going to be 15. 17, is it rounded up? Or yeah, rounded seven, 17, and then you're going to ward how much? Uh, So it's like 28 total, right? So I will, my ward will go up as the dagger pierces and it slows, but then the, the, the hilt of the dagger actually shatters through the, the shield. Oh. I will ward 23 of the 28. So you only take five necrotic or whatever damage let's go <laughs> let's go sick as i just i got you captain and i'm just gonna release and then yeah the dagger will eventually pierce its way through and and nick him i am blind ah! Ah! as you can see that poison flowing through his veins
Your new friends will suffer the same fate. And she's going to see that ward that you put up. In her opposite hand. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Nope. She threw the dagger. She, oh, she can still cast out of it. Uh, she's going to begin casting a spell towards you. I used my reaction to do that, so <laughs> I can't counter spell. <laughs> I hope it's an intelligent save or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's the song that's a straight rip for Harvester of Sorrow. Mm -hmm. It's great. All right. Oh, thank God that 20 rolled off. Is, is there any way for me to use a protection? I don't remember our rule on protection cards. Protection is you trying to impose disadvantage by using your reaction on her. So something's got to be very long distance. You're quite a ways away and she's throwing over on the other Ooh. side. Uh, the cards that has to be within five feet too. Don't worry about the card. We've Go off of what I'm saying. 120 with... <clears throat> I'll just, I'll just throw something out here. With my crazy long movement speed of like 200, it, I'm, I'm guessing that's my legs juiced up. Is there any way I could take off my metal arm and kick it at her? No. No? Okay. I tried, Adam. <laughs> I appreciate that. I was gonna try to use my movement, my 200 movement speed to just a cantrip though he gets lucky 16 points of cold damage that still hurts me <laughs> a lot i'm a wizard <laughs> it's like that's like basically all your help <laughs> good news though i'm resistant to fire damage very helpful down here this is probably the worst place for you to fight all right. Hey, Loon, it is your turn. Okay. <clears throat> uh, hey, listen, I would like to. He was talking to himself. Uh, you know, I would. This case is big, but uh, you know, I, I have seen bigger. I think maybe uh, uh, I will let you uh, you take care of this because you know I'm, I'm kind of bored, honestly. As he starts to transform into Rook. He's like, and now Rook's gonna uh, take a swing with that Vorpal Sword. 21 to hit? On the on the big dude. 21 will hit! 21 hits. Let me go ahead and just roll the second one here. 23 hit 23 will hit and a 26 we got three hits yeah let her eat um 13 12 you just tell me that total damage daddy yeah, well, uh 40 points of slashing damage and then because i this is my monk weapon my uh, dedicated weapon i will take a oh no wait, i already used my bonus action never mind so 40 points of slashing damage with the Vorpal Sword. Yo, let's go! Almost got let's this thing go. bloody! As, as Rook just, just, just starts slashing. I wanna see what your insides look like. <laughs> oh! You didn't roll with advantage. Um, you're right, I didn't. You have three more chances to hit a 19 or 20. Oh, shit, that's the damage. Whoops. Oh, oh my god, oh. that 20 was so close. Oh, the tease. Oh. Oh. Uh. Damn, damn. This haste even gives me an extra attack, dude. I'm still like not getting it. 
I gave it to you for a reason. I know. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm it was you were Barracuda on, and I, I decided you because I, you know, knew you better. <laughs> Good reason enough for anything. I think this is, that's crazy, dude. I based most of my judgment off of that. <laughs> this is the one time I wish I had twin spell because I would have just literally been like, go get them, guys. <laughs> like I would have tapped at both of you and sent you on your way, but. Oh, yeah, that'd be sick. I took two other ones, so. Kirkley with his dagger. Heard about fair play, love! <laughs> He's gonna chuck it back her way. Come on, Kirkley. Come on, Kirkley. No! Net 20! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Get it, Kirkley. Get it. Oh, man. Kirkley with the net 20 on the first toss back. Let's do it. I feel that love dagger. Dagger. <laughs> <laughs> I, Straight through her heart, you know what I'm saying? Adam, Adam, never, ever, <laughs> ever, ever use the word love dagger around me again. <laughs> the dagger oh, is as oh my God. Come on, <laughs> fail this baby. <laughs> what the heck? Woo. Disadvantage. Disadvantage on the con saving throw. Oh, no. Man, we needed that four. Joe, that's a lot. Y'all just hucking daggers over there? This is dagger hugging competition. Total? Going toe to toe. Don't be your huckleberry. Mm -hmm. 38, I think. I watched that movie again recently, Tombstone. It's, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, after you watch Valley, you have to watch Tombstone. Yeah, you know what I noticed though after watching Val is that like his performance is just so much better than everyone else's. Like everybody just looks like crap. <laughs> I still haven't watched Val. I need to. All right, so he's going to do a total of 53 points of damage. Take it. as that dagger comes back to his hand. Pulls out, spins his pistol around. <laughs> Another shot. Since he scored a nat 20, he gets to shoot the pistol at advantage. Come on, baby. <laughs> well, these dice are going crazy. All right, another 11 points of damage. Oh God, I forgot, max sneak attack. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. One. <laughs> That's a good sneak attack. Hell yeah, another 37 yeah. points on that bad boy. It's got plus 24. I mean, it's max sneak attack plus the rolls. Yeah, yeah baby. Crit damage, baby. Oh, 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 massive damage. <clears throat> and with that first crit, damage bar revealed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Uh, All right. Okay, okay. We're not walking away here, love. He's going to keep going up. End of his turn. Son of a bitch. Shark number two. It's going to go straight for Kirkley. Oh. 15. Just hits. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? No. That was Oh, no. Hold on, that's not right. That's not right. He's got above a 15. He's got studded say, leather. He's, he's like 18 or 17, if I remember he's, correctly. He's 17 because studded leather. Let's go. That's going to miss, baby.
All right. End of its turn, Josiah Marquis. I'm cutting down the shark in front of me. Crustacean in hand, I'm pull out my nine lives stealer rapier. And since the shark is right in front of me, I'm just cutting across its body. Sixteen to hit. Sixteen will hit. Throw it out. Twenty-eight points damage. Let's go overkill. <laughs> DTD. <laughs> Literally, with crustacean still in my hand, I reach down to my coat and pull up my sword. And as I pull it out, literally just using it to drag right across and through the shark in front of me. Wipe the blade off on the skin and resheathe it back behind me in my coat as I take aim with my crossbow in my offhand and shoot at this shark right here that just attacked Kirkley. No! Not my children! No! That was a, it's a flipping charge. I might, I might have missed on that one. Oh, nine's, nine's gonna miss. Uh, but seeing that, knowing this is important, I'm flipping this, uh, flipping my wheel out. Let's go, fourteen. You'll be able to hit that bad boy then. Let's go. All right, y'all. You uh, reaction burn. It um, it does not have um, sneak attack on it. Yeah, it does. Kirkley's next to him. Oh, sh well, I just used sneak attack. Oh, did I get it a second time? Uh, I mean, that other one had three points in front of you. You would have you would have eliminated it with anything. With literally the points of your weapon, I will let you use your sneak attack. There's, Let's go! It, as long as you hit that thing, you were going to kill it because it had three HP. So <laughs> you have that in automatic damage, so... Thank you for letting me overdump into that. All right, 15 points on that swing with a sneak attack. That also means since you have sneak attack, you can reroll. You're not oh. reroll, but you get an extra one because it's an advantage. So I may get to keep my wheel dice. Uh, there's that. And let me reroll on the strike. Oh yeah, you gotta keep your you keep your, you keep that. Don't you worry. All right, what's your total on sneak attack? Uh, that is going to be eight points total damage on that. That's not what rolled. No, excuse me, eight points sneak attack damage with the cross station that's coming through. Hold on, sixteen. Hold on, I gotta see if I get my poison back. And I do! Yes! All right, yeah. so is this thing paralyzed now? Uh, No, it'll be the next shot because I get it after every shot. Okay, got it. Uh, How, how much damage total? Um, 16. Oh, plus the 15. It's just 16. All right, bam, down about a quarter. Anything else for your turn? Oh yeah, I'm gonna back the old captain's play. He's moving forward and I'm moving to flank. Uh, hold on. What do I got movement for wise? 45, 10, 15, 20. 35, 40, 45. Ah, there we go. Moving up into the fray. Open waters. After this. seeing you turn back into Rook after taking damage, Jinrid's going to use his held action and uh, he's going to swim up and he's going to drop a level two cure wounds for Kirkley. Let's go. Doesn't crit. Who does number two work for? 
That's right, buddy. You can tell that turkey. <laughs> oh, let's go. 19 points back to Kirkley. It's going to be 80. Oh, yeah. He's topped off. Let's go. <laughs> Much obliged. And uh, let's see here. That'll end his held action. Shark number five. Coming in hot, going over towards Rook. It's gonna come in, it's biting with advantage because of the blood. Uh, 28. Do 16 points of piercing damage. I'll take half. Jinrid's turn. I'm a once again sucks. I can't pop off my bow, but I gotta hold. I gotta hold for that massive damage if it comes in. All right. Spike Shark back in the cheap seats. It's gonna come swimming up. And it is gonna push itself. And it's gonna take a point of exhaustion and it's gonna go in on Rook. And there it goes. Oh, 18. Nope. Gonna miss. <clears throat> Putting the metal arm out for him to bite down on. <laughs> Thrashing back and forth. Asher, it is your turn. Um, Asher will uh, see the two sharks uh, next to um, a loon, and he's just going to see that dagger kind of floating in the water, and he's just going to point to it, and he's going to just rip it, and he's going to catapult at the uh, the one closest, or sorry, closest to him, which would be no memento uh shark four catapult all right got so it deck save 17. yo it's gonna fail full damage coming in Ooh. 36 piercing damage 36 <laughs> points rips into it oh it is on death's door uh, and then i think he's just gonna yell uh, behind you Rube. <laughs> 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 and uh i think uh he'll move rook isn't quite the sandwich He'll move in like uh, about about there. He's he's like gauging, but he's he's trying to be supportive and see what's going on, but also is terrified. So he'll move there, and uh, that'll be his turn. All right. Spike Shark is going to race in on Josiah Marquis down here. Let's go. That's low. Is it going to miss the 16? 16 just. Oh, ah. oh my God. 12 points of piercing. Got a low roll on the next one anyway. Uncanny dodge. I'm going to half that. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go. Ouch. It still hurts. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm cocky, but you know what? It still hurts. <laughs> All right. End of its turn. Oh, Megalo Shark to puss. No longer the leaning tower of Pisa. This time, Claw going in at Barracudon.
Oh, oh that my, god. my god. Even a four, it's a 21. That's ridiculous. I, <laughs> I was like, oh, good, a four. Oh, wait. 17 points of slashing damage with its claw. Oh, no. 17 coming in. There's nothing I can do about that, right? I mean, you're raging, so you're, you're having that. So that's not bad. Right. All right, strength or dexterity? Strength. Yeah, you're gonna be able to succeed again. Yes. Tentacle's gonna lash out over at you, Root. God damn. That was it. Oh, these are low, man. These are low. 20 bludgeoning damage, strength or dexterity, DC 18 on the tentacle. Take half on the damage. Uh, uh, let's see, I'll go dex. 14, I'll throw an inspo on that. Let's go. You will not be grappled and restrained. The bite does not have advantage. It's gonna flip a coin at which one it's gonna bite at. Heads for Rook, tails for Barracudon. Neither. Oh. <laughs> and it landed in a crack. <gasps> oh my god! Another net one! Another net one! Holy shit! Oh, I love a good dumb creature. Oh my god! And put, <laughs> put that metal arm up again as a sheep. <laughs> Deflecting off once again. You guys are gonna have advantage on strikes against Megalo Crabdopus. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Wow. More than one action surge in a turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is gonna to be top of round three. Go refresh that beverage, go use the restroom. We are in good shape. We are in good shape. Oh, yeah, we I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the BS thing that happens. I'm waiting for like, oh, by the way, I'm still, it's there. I we're, know it's there. Well, we're not fighting to get people out of its stomach. So this is completely different. Yeah, true. Yeah, this, but she's gonna morph into like Dormammu or some shit. This, <laughs> this, this is a modified Kraken. This is the real deal. <laughs> oh my God. Nice, you got it posted? Well done. God, I gotta get a new beverage. Oh my God, keep the three nat ones on this thing. Holy shit. Join us, son. Come here. Let me convince so many shark children. Man. <laughs> magic already, uh, uh, I mean, it's it's a shark to crab in magic. I just turned it into a magalo, megalo crab to puss. I am so glad about the sets that are getting phased out in standard. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm like, Bye all bye, of us. Coria. Bye, Ugh. Eldrain. Yay. <laughs> I, Dude, the most hated sets of all time. Uh, I, <laughs> Eldrain and Ikoria made me play just awful magic. Yeah. Just <laughs> awful magic. Yeah. Hate Eldrain it. is pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, just gross. All right, me and Glam got this. Go Thank get your you. Beard, I'm getting a beard. A beard or a beard? B both. <laughs> a beer with a beard. Oh my.
my god. Chat, can I tell you how lucky we are to have survived that first encounter with Aloon's bum rush through the sharks? Like, I mean, <laughs> look at where we are right now, sitting good. Had we had to go through countless sharks before yeah. we got here? Oh I my think, god! I think we somehow bypassed a whole lot of combat outside the throne room, for yeah. sure. You know, I don't At least like, like one thing of it. You I don't like welcome. to give Mudcat a lot of credit for his, you know, his dumb ass moves, but I mean, that one actually worked in our favor. <laughs> Thank God. Listen, to be to be honest, I wasn't I wasn't trying to throw the whole party into something. Yeah, I was just like, throwing no, just my. Me. I was throwing just my character was going to run off. I thought you guys would get the choice whether you followed or not. Bullshit. It, my no, friend I mean, it always goes that way like you know most of the time like you guys get the choice and i could have just been out there by myself and that was okay with me well you know what i'm not gonna argue with you because it worked had someone had <laughs> someone told me that you guys were gonna go too i probably wouldn't have done it. but you know what that's the best part of it all is you made a very <laughs> a loon move that was almost on the edge of rook like we're starting to see some of the seams between you two yeah. Little this, little that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, by the way, guys, right now my walking speed's at 200. If I use my step of the wind, I get to double my walking speed again. And I can disengage with 400 feet of movement on my turn. That's <laughs> pretty epic. This is, with the haste, dude, I did not even plan for this, but like with the boots of speed, with haste, and then with my uh, unfurled wings, like I can get to a max of 400 feet on a turn. You better, start, you better start putting that to work right now because you got two sharks and a megla <clears throat> crab. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't bust. really do me. It doesn't really do me any good to move 400 feet. They're all right here. I'm <laughs> action surging on this dude so hard this turn for real. Now, is that a card yeah. action surge or your actual physical actual uh, card. You, oh card you're gonna card nope. it oh that's boy gonna, that's gonna cost you exhaustion just that's, as an fyi yeah. three points exhaustion you made it better be oh, better make three. sure we're in end game at that yeah, point oh yeah one. three no race so use cautiously Ooh. he's like oh on second thought well, maybe, maybe swinging my axe three times does sound pretty good <laughs> i thought you had it baked into your character like i don't think i search. do i've got brutal crit baked in if you have a second wind you can recover a level of exhaustion the next turn with that card so like, Ooh, if I you've got an action surge then you can you know then you could use action yeah. surge for three points of exhaustion and then you could use your second win next the next turn to then get back uh you know that up to two points and you can keep using them to negate your levels You've just yeah but those three points of exhaustion are rough are rough they, well they are rough if, especially if you don't it's have the, the second win to game. negate them the big part about it right mm -hmm. right yeah Ooh, speaking of that we got to make a con save for you for me mr rook you took uh Oh yeah. my god! Get out of here! Nat 20! You get to avoid the next con save! Oh! <laughs> Tip typical day at the office. You I know love how you just. Yep. Uh, yeah, it was just. You know, hmm. TPS reports and whatever. Man. Nat 20s. Shits. Nat 20s. <laughs> Unreal. Fucking ridiculous. Thanks for all the new people joining us on Thursday, by the way. Welcome to the show. All right. Gitsy. Hey, yo. Let's start with that light from here, though. Our moonbeam. Yeah, 30 points automatically right off the bat. Still just scorching through it like a small blowtorch, very focused. I mean, it's only five feet in this massive thing, but it's getting a nice burn mark, you know? Like, if I hit it long enough in one spot, it'll get a concussion. You know, it just takes 50 hits. All right. Excellent. You just stay there and I'll roast you alive. And she's going to then 
Throw her hammer yet again at Shark Baby. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, boy. I'm just kidding. This was a nightmare all of a sudden. Uh oh. Cool. Uh oh. With that nat one. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh god, I'm in the way. Oh god, I just realized I'm also oh in the way. I'm already starting to eat my feelings. It's okay. I found a picture of Gitsy I'm gonna share in the chat. That was the day <laughs> that Gitsy <laughs> killed Asher. Becca, I'm right there with you. Okay. Please no. Right, we're both eating our emotions. It'll be fine. We're both gonna be okay. You need to make a dexterity DC 23. <laughs> As that hammer, as it's laying there on the ground. You see it look up with its side eye over towards you and it just expunges out this lightning strike that fires back at your hammer, back towards you. Dexterity 23. Damn. Just for her, right? I'm glad you're very oh. concerned about me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Just for her, though, right? <laughs> I know it's really concerning and whatnot, but uh, hold on. Nope. Nope. I don't have a lot. All right. Taking it. 26 points of lightning damage. Yep. I love it. I'm electric. Boogie woogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. <laughs> it's electric. Did it, did it. Clam. <laughs> or am I seeing 26? Is that right? Or is it rolling again? 26. Okay, got it. Nice. What is this? <laughs> what are you doing? The Lincoln Jack Glam put. No. 26 damage. All right. That one's take. What the heck? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have more detail than that. If my shell is silver. Weren't you listening? <laughs> but other than that, fine. Maybe it's a little accurate. I'm going to take my hammer again. Not deterred. It'll take more than my own hammer to take me down. You think I would never <laughs> wield anything that I couldn't hit on my own? Nobody makes It'll me take my more own than blood. my own hammer. <laughs> Oh, more than me, me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody oh. makes me All right. Blood. Reel it in. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. I have an inspo. I have an inspo. So I'm using that. That is a... Eight. You're not as stupid as you think that I thought that I was once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, balls. A 19. 19 will hit. Yeah. Hey. Hey. All right, 16 plus one more An additional 7, 23. It is officially bloodied. Boom, 23. Okay. That's right. You just be careful of who you're choosing to fight against. Gitsy's going to slowly and dragging her hammer with me, or with her to step up next to her teammates. You pay attention to me and me alone, you fool of a fish. And that will be her turn. Gets his goad from the back line. <laughs> Barracudon, it is your turn. Time to hack and slash. Barracudon smells the blood in the water as we enter the bottom half of Megalo Shark to Puss's health bar. We're still swinging advantage, right? Because of his fail? Because of his critical for one? Yes. yes. As it sees you going in, it... layer action. Oh no. It there it is. Shoots out that jet of ink cloud. Oh God, am I in which it? Which will hit all of us. 60 foot radius that spreads out. DC 23 con save currently within it. And this turn, uh, we are blinded. Asher, you get a plus one. 
Do we get advantage on the save? Thanks. <laughs> Give me one second here on this. Is it 23 con save? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Con save. <clears throat> oh my okay. God. Wait. Oh, I've got one D10 from chat. No, you. Um, I'm going to need every inch of it. I'm in spelling. <laughs> I bet you will. Asher. I'm using a D10. Damn it. <laughs> By two. Oh. I'm at 24. Let's go. Mm. No dice. Can't hit it. All right. I needed a two. Not as bad three, as what you thought it was going to be. Damage on that. God, I got to scroll up high. Uh, 14 points of poison damage. So these advantage swings are now flat rolls. So I'll re roll my first swing. Ink cloud dissipates uh, on its turn. Oh, hold the fuck on! Moonbeam is on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. You mm. still have advantage. Oh. I'll take it. Moonbeam will it. cut through that jet of ink. Oh, did it take Moonbeam damage? Clutch. <laughs> We've been doing it on Gitsy's turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He just got the 30. Got it. Next time he'll get to roll again. Okay, another calm then. Please be higher. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to click that. It's higher. 16. I'm going to roll my info. That's within range. Damage isn't awful. It's only 14. Yeah, easy for you to say. I'm the wizard. <laughs> hey, take the tough feet and quit complaining. <laughs> Here's your 12 extra HP. Hell yeah. <laughs> It'll be like 40 at level 20. Yeah. I bet you everything that Kaliana can see through it. I bet you everything. You'd probably be a wise person. <laughs> Bear Kudon, it is your turn. Great, I did roll my first swing. We're gonna re-roll it. Yeah, I just go ahead. Just go ahead and roll with advantage. Okay, cool. We'll re-roll it. Boom, boom. It wasn't a twenty, so I'm down for that. Twenty-three. Twenty-three will hit. Damage on that. Oh, wait, I should be rolling the one d. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, it'll also take the automatic six, so it's gonna do eighteen. Correct, and then we're going to second swing now. Come on, B. There it is! There it is! We got 20! Let's go! Let's go! That'll work, yeah. out, boy. Uh, brutal crit in house. Get it. Get it. Uh, I roll two 20s. <laughs> is that right? You just roll an extra damage die. Yeah. Ooh. We roll this one. And then I roll it again. Did I do that right, or do I just add one more roll into that? Just the just the extra die, like the D eight. Right, right, right. Okay, so, so like, you, you roll, roll a roll. what? What? What is your what's your axe? So I did thirteen on the first swing. Okay, what? Just give me the die. What's the die? The die is a D eight. Okay, dies a D8. Okay, so you get, you're gonna get 16, plus you get to roll, just roll me a D8. Yep. So we're at 29, plus this D8. Five more. All right, we're at 34. Nice, and then third swing coming in. Also with advantage. Oh, oh no! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Moonbeam coming in clutch as you're just swinging through this ink. You can't even see it. You're just honing in on this 
bar of light in between just blood and bits and gore is coming up as you're just cleaving away at this. 18 more. Nice. Are you gonna get critical damage on that? 18, that's gonna get crit damage. No, okay, so you rolled a 12 and then uh, your your extra D8, did you burn it? You didn't burn another brutal critical, did you? I get, I have always had brutal critical. It's baked into, it's- Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So then 16 plus, so 28. So it's actually, it's 34 again. Jeez. No, it's 32. Nice. I'm sorry, 32. <clears throat> Let's go. Isn't there a bowling term for that? Like getting two strikes? Turkey is three. Yeah. Double is two. Quink. I mean, you do have the opportunity to eventually get a turkey. No, That's 28, it's point. identical. It's 34 again. Yep. All right. Dude, nice. let's go. Let's go. Holy shit. He's limping, y'all. Oh, let's go. He's wasn't getting there. Crush him. He's limping, but he wasn't even he wasn't even shot nine times. <laughs> I don't get that reference. <laughs> you don't no, want to. Okay. I do. Jesus, stop. All right. <laughs> Anything else for your turn? No, no, not again, not my child, not my child. Oh, she is going to swim up and begin casting a spell. I can't see, right? Because I'm stuck in the ink. That is correct. Mm. Sweet, glad I have counter spell guys. Yeah. <laughs> As she cast Keel. Oh. oh my god, no way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you want to be like <laughs> what a normal person would do. Oh god, no. He's back up. <laughs> yeah, Keel is nasty. Is he still bloody though? Mm, yeah, it's right on the line. 50-50. <laughs> But that is her whole turn. Oh. All right. That's it. Oh. And uh. And uh. God damn it's it. her and it. Oh, she healed oh, herself. Oh no! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Wait, what? She healed herself as well. Mama Mia. Papa Pia. Mama Mia, Papa Pia. Rook, it is your turn. You still have advantage. I will be swinging at the big guy again. Uh, 27 on the first. That'll hit. 18 on the second. I don't have inspo. Does 18 hit? 18 hits. Okay. Last hit. Oh, can't get the 20. All right, three hits coming. I thought in. you hit on 19s now. No, I'm not a God fighter. Damn it. Everyone's so hopeful. I know. Why every time I. A fighter. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be. It's Josiah that crits on 19 now. It's going to yes. be 31. Uh, 42 points of slashing damage. And because. I hit with my monk weapon. I'm also going to attack with my uh, offhand. And that's 29 to hit. Woo! So 42 plus 11 is 53 points of uh, slashing damage. Cool. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Let's go. That's Bloody to get. is gone. Hey, I'm. It's what I'm here for, okay? <laughs> it's what I'm here for. We're all here for it. <laughs> Let's get it. Ah, oh, 
fucking we're over here in this fucking stink cloud I, I wonder if the sh are the sharks blinded by this ink cloud? Depends on if you're scared, bleeding or not. Obscure their smell. Obscure <laughs> uh, the smell. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, lucky for me and Mang, we're just rockish, so we just <laughs> we, we swing at everything, anyways. <laughs> yeah, full send. Whatever the hell's in front of me, getting cursed, daggered. <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> go, 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 go. Yep, that'll do it. <sighs> nice. All right. It's going to make his con save. Yo, let's go. It's going to take full damage. Sneak attack as well. So we got 29 points plus 16. Yo, let's go. DTD on it. Kirkley's going to be able to slice through. Get out of my way. Yes. Yes. I, I knew the other one was over by Mang. I'm going to pop a shot. I hope I don't shoot you. Don't shoot me. <laughs> I got to roll out again. I do not shoot you. Yes, I'm that shot. A whole six points of piercing damage. I am good with that. It's every little bit counts. Mm hmm. Kirkley's gonna swim out of this. He's he's moving up. End of its turn. Let's go. That shark is out of the initiative. Josiah, it is your turn, my dude. Let's yeah. go. Reaching back Eat towards it. That nine lives steal a rapier back in my coat again as I stroke the tattoo on my forearm and swing it. I'm gonna try and hit this with everything I got. Necrotic damage at all. 18 to hit. Oh, that 19 was so teased. I know. It would have been so good to hit this thing with a 19 because it would have literally taken its soul. Oh, all right. Here's the uh the first part of damage on that. 25 uh, points and that's yo let's go up. dtd Woo! yes without even the tattoo damage let's go Out. let's go <laughs> literally again just reaching into my coat <laughs> grabbing that sword that i know where it's tucked in and just swiping across what's in front of me dragging the blade across it and pushing it back into its sheath y'all can murder some sharks <laughs> Make those steaks for days. Real. I'm gonna do a just a perception check to see if I know if Kirkley is not around me. I mean, I I kind of had a set in an 18, moving 26. I know I know where he's headed. I know that general direction, and I'm gonna swim out. Oh, uh, yeah. It puts me about right there. I knew I knew which way he was headed and I just kind of took a direction. All right. Into Josiah's turn. Tag team back again. The million vanilla of the shark world. <laughs> Definitely. It's like salt and pepper. Push it. Push it real good. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Push All right. it real good. On Rook. <laughs> Two of them together. Blood frenzy and pack frenzy. Two bites coming in. Same shark advantage. 25 right. on the first. It's 15 points of piercing. Second okay. bite. It's another 16. So 31, half it. 16 points on you, Rook. Got it. Oh, 
I was holding my turn for massive damage. I'm gonna swim back this way. Oh shit. Rook looks rough. Asher looks rough. Looking rough, but I am resistant to their main damage type so far. Looking rough, but I am a wizard. <laughs> wow. Mad. I feel great. I'm terrified <laughs> of getting up there. I'm in a distant spell cure wounds for Rook. Yeah, there we go. That's a good play. That's the I right gotta, I gotta roll my con again now, right? We already used that nat 20 on the ink or no? Yeah, they're both just tins, so. Yep. I'm gonna get 11. it. No! Mm, nope. Well, that's no bueno. Losing that's the real bad. That's real bad, actually. All right. I'm gonna drop a fourth level at distance. We're gonna toss a, see if I can hit that 20. Come on. Yes! Yes! Whoa! Let's go, baby! What a clutch time to hit that 20 heal. Crit yeah. heal when we need it. All right. Oh, let's go. Lost the haste, but got the heals. 32 plus five, 37 points back, Rook. Oh, Which, uh, you realize that's 74 points of healing for me, pretty much. <laughs> Hell yeah. Which, by the way, when haste wears off, you get stunned. Oh, am I stunned? Yeah. Oh, a oh, wave right. of lethargy, lethargy runs over yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, correction. You're not stunned. You just can't move or I can't take, take actions. I can't take until yeah, I gotta, after until its next turn. turn. So you have a, yeah. yeah, so you basically are just I'm stuck stunned there. for one round. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. I can't, I can't move or take actions. Oh, that's roll bad with you in between three of them. I got, you know what? I got pretty good. I got pretty good healing back there. I'm still resistant to piercing, so we're okay for now. I think we'll see. Plus, there's a crit. Then, then you should worry. Fails strength and dex throws. Attack rolls have advantage. Oh God. So, so he's not yeah. he's not stunned stunned, not stunned officially. I just, like I it's can't not take like an action. Condition. I can't move. Yeah. Until after its next turn. So basically, he's just he doesn't get to do anything for a round. So his next turn, it just skips him, basically, or however you want to rule it. But give me one second. Oh, good. It's one of those weird things. I figured you'd want to rule it differently. <laughs> Give me a moment. It's the I'm last going, going to decide how this affects your fate. Target can't move or take actions. All right, here's what we're going to do. You got one swing of something. Whether that be your action or your bonus action. Okay. And attacks against you have advantage because you're slowed. Fair enough. That's how we're going to do it. So you got something. Okay. Uh, but yeah, your movement movement speed's going to be zapped. Yep, that's fine. Okay. I wasn't going anywhere anyway. All right, now that it's on my turn, wham, I'm slapping you. Asher. We're going to drop a third level on you. Oh, yeah, baby. Get that good healing. Heal me, step bro. <laughs> Looks like you're stuck, Asher. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, Big. yeah. Woo! Rolling hot tonight on heels, baby. Let's go. Man. 24 points back. Hell yeah. And then I'm going to send uh, Gitsy. I'm going to send you the chalice. Aw. I gladly accept. Uh, 
Let's go. Ten points back to you, Gitsy. Thank you. I did my job here. Shark number four. Advantage two bites coming in. Oh, oh. oh no. At least you just got that heal. For okay. real. Sharks That's are okay. very good at biting. They're very good at it. <sighs> 34 points of piercing damage. Got it. Plus 16. Gonna drop 40 total, so half at 20. No, I'm still, I'm okay. Ooh. Okay. Asher, it is your turn. Ooh. Okay, so the ink is still there. Or is uh, it gone now? Ink's still there until Megalo Crab to Puss's turn. Okay. But I saw where they were before. It's disadvantage. The moonbeam is cutting through. So you have a general idea. Technically, I should roll. I know. Since I got hit I to see if that moonbeam's still there. Yes, please do. Nope, two. That is gone. Damn. Damn. No moonbeam. Damn, beam. damn, damn. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> okay. Get it again. Damn, Daniel. So, yeah, we're gonna do this. Desperate, <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Exactly. Uh, so, seeing the light flicker out and hearing probably Rook growl as he gets bit, and remembering uh -huh. where everyone was, and have they haven't really moved since then. Asher actually closes his eyes, and he thinks back to the very first time he met Kirkley at that tavern and the fear he had knowing that they had to pay the due and the debt that was owed. And then he remembers the very stark moment of when that debt was paid and how welcoming he was, that he was a part of the crew, that he always had his back. And a pirate's luck is a pirate's luck. And so he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a Pirate King coin and he flicks it into the water. And subtle spell casts steal one strike and aims at the remaining enemies. Oh! With double advantage. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Pirate's <laughs> luck, baby! Let's go! Let's go. Okay, so I'll just, uh, <clears throat> if you're cool with all of that, every single, the four remaining enemies are all gonna get attacked with this. But he just keeps his eyes closed and in his mind, you see him just draw the, th the thin red arcane lines at each one. And then he just spins it and like a Gatlin gun, just doof, 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 shoots them all off. So it's with double advantage, but it's with disadvantage. So is it just advantage? Just advantage. Just advantage, okay. What Ooh, a time. Okay. <laughs> Spin them up, baby. All right, so. All right, who's the target? Uh, it'll be, it's gonna go uh, furthest left, this guy, and then it's gonna work its way up, basically. Uh, which guy is that? Shark number four, shark first number one, four. got it. Okay, yeah. 21's so, gonna hit. So that'll be 31 force damage. DTD. Ooh, nice. Second one at the one right above it. Got it. With advantage. Let's go. That'll hit. Hit. <laughs> so that'll be 29 force damage to that one. The big crab shark alopolis. Bloodied. <laughs> All right. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. It'll hit. 22. 23 force damage. Princess. 
Okay. Oof, 20. Does not hit. Ugh. Inspiration? Question mark? Do you? Yeah. I will throw my last... Oh, baby. Oh, oh yeah! Nice. That'll hit. Nine. 29. That'll hit. Oh, well. Yo, oh, big roll! roll oh, big oh, roll! Two force damage. Powerful as, uh, hit. As you see him spin it in his, well, you don't see it, but in his mind, he spins it. And he, and he rapid fires three off. And then as he goes, he just holds on as the tension builds to the last one. And then he just slams it forward straight into her. Is, ah, is you fool! Fair? It's five, right? It's it's five, yes, but you have to choose a different target every single time. Yeah. Like you choose five. I believe you choose five creatures. Like you have to shoot one. Otherwise, you're doing like a billion damage to one target. Like you have to choose a different target for each one. Yeah. On game of saving throws, we abused that, and <laughs> and we let it happen. And it was allowed because, you to. I mean, if you'll let me throw another one at Kaliana, I will. No, like. no, I'm totally. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a sore wound. Kill one of the already dead ones just so she sees it. Steal one strike would kill half my boss's damage in GOST. <laughs> yeah. I was I so, had to counter um, strike it every time. Or counter uh, uh yeah. counter spell it. <laughs> and then uh yeah, and then he would just after he does that in his mind he flips the coin, you just see him snatch the coin and smile and then place it back in his pocket. That'll be his turn. Literally, Kirkley has no idea until these blades come out spinning and he sees as it cuts through this massive ink cloud that's back as those blades, the one cycling back, still trying to find someone as it cuts this ink squad back and he sees you catch that pirate coin and just tips his cap back towards you as he realizes what you've done. Let's go. This thing is out. This guy is out. Okay. Megalo crabbed a puss. Going hard in the paint. Tentacle shot with advantage down on Rook. This might be an unusual reaction, but just because I've been yelling at it this entire time, can I just try to yell at it and command it to focus on me instead you unfortunately have never stepped into its five foot range so it's it is literally operating off of what's been in front of it you've been laying down goading attacks but it's just not that bright of a creature <laughs> fair enough 30 is going to hit yep 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Got it. You are grappled and restrained. I don't get to roll for that one. Not with your uh not with your condition. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Sorry. Good call. And it's gonna go in for the bite as it pulls you back up. Mm -hmm. That'll hit. God, that's a bite. <laughs> All right. I'm going to separate the acid damage for you. It's 44 points of acid, 21 points of piercing damage. I'm down. I'm down. Oh, shit. I was at 30. I'm down. That's a crazy bite. That would have that would have almost taken me down from full health. As we see that bite, we see Rook disappear into the belly of the beast. Oh, 
claw attack at you, Barracudon. Twenty points. My, what was the AC roll? What was the hit roll? My AC Thirty-four. Oh dang! Yeah, that that hits. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the plus seventeen on the end of it. My bad. Twenty points of slashing damage. Regardless of what Rook may or may not have left after being bitten. You have precisely one round to free him before he is dissolved. <laughs> Layer action. Another lightning storm that targets you, Gitsy. Yep, yep. DC 23 dexterity. DC 23, okay. Teen. Technically with my last D8, there's a chance, so I'm gonna go for it. Come on, eight. Last shot. Nope. I will fail. Twenty three points of lightning damage. Gitsy. You are top of the order. Megalo Crabtopus is the bottom. And we, the ink has dispersed at this point since his turn is done. Ink is now dispersed. Okay. My child will devour you all. Each and every last one of you. Yes, well, we'll see about that. And Gitsy will strike to hit with that hammer. 25. 25 will hit. You've done enough damage. We're adding on then our divine smite. So 10 bludgeoning plus, I have to add my one other D8. That's the throw. An additional two, 12 bludgeoning. And then... Just give me your total okay. damage when you're done. Uh, 42. And then I'm also adding on top of that. My ensnar ensnaring strike. Yes. Which counts as my bonus action. Yep. So that will do... All right, that will be 48 points of damage total. Nice, nice, nice. And it will need to make a strength saving throw of 13. What's the strength saving throw on? The ensnaring strike. And so it the does. Vine, uh, the vines uh, whip up around it and it must succeed a strength saving throw or be restrained by magical vines until the spell ends. It will also then take an additional 1d6 at the oh. start of its turns. Okay. What save? A strength. Ugh. Is that on top of your moonbeam too? Moonbeam's no, moon gone. Moonbeam's gone. Oh, okay. I lost it with a roll Failed. two. That's which right. sucks right now. All right. So Even with that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so with that, the vine will wither away. You Good remember, try. it was I who did this to you. You focus on me, you big lug. Come here, Maggie. And Maggie. she's going to 
try to hit again with her her, her hammer one more time. It's me! Damn it. Can't you get it through your thick skull? A 30 Damn minutes. it, Karen! <laughs> That'll hit. How many times do I have to tell you? That'll be... 14, uh, 20. 20 more points of damage. 20, so 68 total? Yep. Yes. Okay. Is that enough to make it throw up? <laughs> enough for a regurgitation. 50 yeah. points on one turn is it. DC 25 con save. This thing has a plus 14. Oh, God. You're going to roll one. I'm calling it. It was almost a five, though. It was almost a five. Oh, that's nice. No. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, no. <sighs> Shit. It's okay. More rounds. More rounds. Gitsy is going Barracudon. to point to Barracudon. <sighs> you have to get him out of there. Hit it in the stomach or I will hit you. Get him out. Out. And that yep. will be I mean, the good news is time. probably gonna, probably gonna kill it before, <laughs> before true. True. True, no. true. Come on, Barracudon. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> All right. So burning cards doesn't count as an action, right? Cards from chat. No, tell or me what card you want to burn, I'll tell you how it goes Fighting down. Fighting spirit, baby. Fighting spirit. All right. Advantage, here it comes. Here it comes. Here come the swings. Come on, baby. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. First one hits, damage rolling in. I don't get advantage. Do I get advantage on damage with that? No. Yeah. Oh, good spin. 18. 18. Plus the six. That's auto. We're at 24. And then we swing again. Yes! Ooh. Yes! Let's go! Let's, Let's go! Nice. Dropping the crit, baby! Oh! Let's go! <laughs> all right, Let's go! Oh. Yeah, okay, all right. Oh, <laughs> but, but, okay. but okay, we got, we got the crit there. on top of that. All right. But you get max damage on a crit plus an extra 16, dice. 16, 16 right. plus the 11. All right, 27. Do I keep swinging? You're at 51, so we got a regurgitation. Yes. <laughs> you still got to swing, too. Swing yeah. away, swing. swing away. Here we go. Make him cry. Yeah, baby. That'll hit. Let's kill it. Go. Just kill it. Just end its life. Oh my God, dude, you have done massive damage. Damage, to their daddy. Heart. Damage, daddy. One H P. As you uh, do you a know, total of sixty-nine points of damage. I'm gonna say. Nice. Can you tell me if I can't do this, but uh, you know, seeing his buddy Rook go down the gullet, like I feel like. Megal I feel like Barracudon would action surge here. 100%. Yep. Hit We're Hit burning that. it. One more attack. Protection. Oh my, oh god. my god. Oh no. Oh. How is that possible? You got. Oh. Two. You got the double dicking. Oh what? no. And you three points of exhaustion. Fate, you challenged fate. Three points of exhaustion no. plus double nat one. What the? Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. That's the worst role I've ever seen. Did you just kill a loon? Or himself, I... one of the two. Oh my God. Hope you're real proud of your actions How tonight, sir. Is that possible? Wow. wow, look at all this hate. <laughs> it's for the dice, not you. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just How is that possible? <laughs> You're not even me. What? The guy's oh my god. Like <laughs> You're not even me. <laughs> what the fuck? I think either either this is real bad or Robert's camera is frozen. Oh, no, no, it's real bad. It's, oh, no, it's, it's real bad. bad. That's, it's that's definitely his real, real bad face. Bad. That's his, he has to deliver bad news, but he's trying to figure out if there's a way to get around it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. This will not end. Uh, I got a backup or... character that could kill my character if you want. <clears throat> All right, guys, that's where we're going to end this week. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not a bad idea. <laughs> Do we get nices for doing 69 points of damage in the chat, though? Oh, by I the said way? nice already, nice. bud. Like, nice. it, you okay. still roll two now ones. Nice. Oh, God. I'll, you know what? Nice. Nice-y. <laughs> You're not floating after this one. <sighs> nice ish. That's right. <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh the pain away. I have oh, to. God. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Guys. <clears throat> This Hello, player D3. character death is brought to you by D20 Deathmatch. Uh, oh, make God. sure you go to twitch.tv slash D20 Deathmatch. Wait, I thought we had a whole round to kill it. Everybody, wait. Yeah, but you're all two now one, so we'll see what happens. But you may have really. Well, only one of those counts. Uh, stepping, no. stepping forward. Seeing Barracudon go for the coup de gras on her child. Locking up with both of your axes before its final blow. You will suffer the fate that you wish for my family. As she points a finger Oh God! At you. No. With her ninth level spell. Counter spell. Hero point. The only way. is if you roll a nat 20. Me or him? Barracudon is underneath 100 hit points and will die instantly. You can do it. Flat 20? Roll the nat 20. He has to roll. A nat 20 on a counter spell to okay. stop Barracudon from dropping dead on the spot. Come on. You got it. Just pretend this is Eberron. Here it comes. Gonna roll a d20. <gasps> no! It was that's, there! That's, or that's, that's Glam's. That's Barracudon. Oh, there was Barracudon. Oh, my oh, fuck. Just like that. Who Wait, you know we're it? emotionally hooked on Adam that. has to roll. Adam I has to. Oh my god, I thought it was at me. No, I no. Was rolling us. I was like, it's so mean. Uh, <gasps> come on. You I got it. I seriously thought it was at me. Don't even no, think no. about it. Just roll it. You got yeah, okay, all right. D20. The button. Here it comes. Oh. Plus mine. I'll use, I'm going to use my luck. I'm right next to you. I'm seeing it go down. This is it. That's my reaction for the turn burned. This is your roll. Here it comes. Adam's had no luck with luck. D20 right here. Oh, it was oh, so close. It was away. so close. Barracudon. Your life expires in a flash before your eyes. As you drop lifeless.
You will all suffer the fate! As she mounts Megalo Shark to Puss. Mounted combatant. She could absorb any damage that is targeted towards it. Towards her. Regurgitation roll right now. Caliani's turn. Throwing the dagger towards Kirkley. Oh, 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 now Finally. one. Hold on. Hold on. We got a chance. We just Finally got a chance. A She's going to fall break. off. She's going to fall off. Oh, my God. We have a fucking chance. Holy shit. Holy shit. Is that dagger goes flying. Kirkley kicking it back off. Leaning, falling off of Megalo Shark to push, no longer in mounted combatant stance. No! No! She's going to. Oh my god. Just chill touch as he grabs on to Kirkley. Oh. 19 points of necrotic damage. Holy shit. Oh, God. Okay. Death saving throw, Rook. Okay. Roll 20. I dare you. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, fuck. Are you. Please, bud. No offense, but don't talk to me anymore. Ow. Yeah. Adam. Oh. <laughs> One glam. You're. You suck. Oh. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna oh. be done. We bear this pain together. Come, come down here. Hug me, bud. Come down here. I'm never allowed to say that again. <laughs> Live by the sword, die by the sword. No, you're dying by a shark. Kirkley's gonna look back towards you, Josiah. Cut him out of the belly! Get that as fast as you can! You knew it went in this way. It always was. He's going to take his advantage. Curse dagger shot at Kalyani. Oh. 26 will hit. Con save. Disadvantage. It will all apply. No, she just made it. Shit! Fuck. Thirteen. Oh, 
13. Sneak attack. Twenty four. It's going to fire his pistol point blank. Another twelve points. Josiah, it is your turn. Kirkley's words strike true to his heart. He grabs his sword and full sends. goes to cr cut across the weakest part he can see to try and cleave his friend out. Last layer action, Counter-Strike. Toss your first out. Last inspo. Twenty two for you. Twenty two. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Describe its demise as that tentacle <laughs> tries to intercept you coming in for the killing blow. Josiah, with his rapier in hand, sees it coming just out of the corner of his eye as he spins around with that sword, ducking underneath that tentacle, reaching out his hand as he does. The tip of the sword gets him right under the gullet, piercing that soft flesh, and he swims across as he drags it through its throat opening it up and spilling it out. Oh! Aloon's lifeless body, badly burnt from acid, missing his other hand. I'm sorry, your arm. I'm missing my metal arm or my real arm? Your real arm. Oh, shit. <laughs> but How is there still a shark left? As you will slide out. <laughs> sword still intact? <laughs> Vorpal sword's still intact. Okay, just wondering. Just not you. That's that's fine. You're just down another arm. I wasn't using that anyways. Just missed your shoulders. 
Wow. All right. Well, now that I've I've swung and cut, can I shoot cross station with my offhand at this other shark that's yes. still out here? Yes. You still have your uh, you still have your sneak attack. Here comes cross station. Oh, oh, just ready to go. <laughs> no. Eleven doesn't hit these little sharks. No. Have I used my wheel this round? Can I give him a D10 of inspo even though I'm dead? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was just a funny way to say that. <laughs> no, I have my wheel. I have my wheel. I'm going to send it to you so you can automatically hit. Come on, baby. Reaction burnt. All I have is my luck. Damage. Come With on, cross station. He's also going to have to throw that DC saving throw after I throw my sneak attack. Con save. Um, that is DC 15 con save. Not gonna matter. 26 points left. 29 will do it. DTD. Yes. Coming through, slicing the shark as he's sliding down the body, grabs crustacean with his offhand, aims it at that shark that he knows is there by Barracudon, fires the bolt, sidearm. You just stopped Barracudon from being permed. Bolt just travels through its eye. With him being next, would have ripped you into pieces that I cannot heal. That is the end of my turn. Thank you. That'll work. Oh, shit. Saved by the kitty cat. Meow. <laughs> Okay. I got one dead dead. Was my other arm bitten off or acided off? Acid and the bite. It's not a, not a verb, but. Threw on the bite. Corroded. The bite was a killing uh, blow. Gotcha. But you can make it as gnarly as you want it to be. No, I was just wondering. Just Glad wondering you didn't throw your other point. arm now. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm biting. I'm going to cast. Spare the dying. I'm going to use a cantrip. And I'm going to stabilize your situation, Barracudon. Removing you from death saving throws. Just illuminating your body with a little bit of starlight held over it. Then I can use healing word as my bonus action. This will get everybody, by the way. I'm going to use a fourth level healing word. No, I'd have to use mass. Uh, mass heal world to do that shit. I'll just uh, I'm just going to do it just for you, Root. Come on, baby. Roll good. Roll good. 12 hit points back up to you. 
as it carterizes the massive bleeding on your side. As you come to, you have three points of exhaustion. Okay. I'm going to start to pull your body back floating in the water, Barracudon. Just trying to get you away. But also, I'm going to move like over here. And just kind of stand in front of your body this way. Asher, it is your turn. So I see both Barracudon and Aloon like back and breathing. Barracudon's not breathing, but he is stable. He does not have to make yeah. death saving throws. Still, I still have to use Revivify on him. Right. Kellyan is still there. Kellyan is still there. Yes, very much so. Asher will see Aloon just start to breathe. And you'll see this like sigh of relief. So he exhales as he pulls out a silvered axe that he was given. And you just see this anger in his face as he just kind of holds it up and looks at himself in the reflection and then looks at Kaliana without moving. He just releases it and subtle spell catapult the silver ass to Kaliana. <laughs> Dex save in 17. Since you subtly did it, I'm going to roll it straight up. Let's go! Let's go! Double net ones, baby! Max damage! Wow. Oh my god, dude. Twice in one game. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? What is Let's go, on? baby! Ones. The, the crits in general tonight. <laughs> so it's uh Easter famine. Yeah, these are two sided uh, die. So is it a crit or is it just the max damage of what it'll be? Oh right? no, because this damage? is a um this is a regular attack, not a, uh, um, no, no, because it's a save. Yeah, they have to make a save. So it's a save, so it's just max damage. Okay, so it's, uh, uh, 48. Uh, whatever an axe, silvered hand axe is. I don't know if it's slashing. I think it's slashing. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, you little shit. <laughs> I will rip your red limbs from your body and let my children feast upon your bones. You can try, but your tale ends today. You've done enough harm. If you haven't heard, I'm the red devil of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> he owns it for the first time. He owns it. God damn it. <laughs> and uh, I will, I will take three points of exhaustion, action surge, and do it again. Get the. F All right. You will not be able to counter spell for a full mm -hmm. round after this. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I hope she rolls bad. Because <laughs> it's all or nothing with this spell. But it's catapult again. I basically send it through and then I just rip it back towards her. All right. Damn it. All right, she passes. She takes no damage. I'm sad. <laughs> You're still a god. Don't worry. <laughs> Not quite. Well, a devil, perhaps. I have grown tired of these games. You have ripped our home apart. I will never forgive you. Layer action. You feel this intense whirlpool as you see her body begin to spin, hair going up into the air, pulling everyone in to the center of her throne. Everyone is now within 20 feet. On top of that, initiative has been reset. Barracudon, since you are currently dead, you are in at a zero. I need everyone to roll for initiative. I use a relentless. Yes, you may. Oh no. <laughs> they can't get much worse. <laughs> Roll the four. <laughs> oh, she rolled really high. Do I do it on the tracker? You're re-rolling your initiative? Yeah. Okay, you may do it again. It's cleared, ready to roll. Come on, come oh, on, well. come on. Yeah, okay, it's not really helpful. I was hoping it'd be way better. Mm. I have one relentless. It's a nat 20 situation. I'm gonna roll it for Jenrid. Go for it. Oh, it's so close. Close. It's close. Now you will all feel the true wrath of the deep. She begins casting a spell. Sorry, guys. As you see bits and parts of her crown begin to light up. Oh, 
She casts Prismatic Spray. (laughs) As you see bioluminescence from the coral behind her and her crown begin firing off in all directions. Dexterity saving throw, DC 23, Barracudons, you are an automatic failure. Oh, uh, you guys get a plus one that are next to me. Everyone has a plus one. I have to roll an eight on this D20 to make it, or on this D8 to make it. Couldn't have asked for a better time to be dead. Mm-hmm. Oh. Six. Oh, cat. Oh, you scared the crap out of me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who succeeds? Twenty seven. I'm at a 24. I fail. Horribly. You dodge out of the way of this flash of light from the coral. I'm going to use my last luck for myself. Just can't get there. 21. First shot that hits goes to Barracudon. As we see a stream of acid. jet out melting his body before our eyes (sighs) bear kudan what is the last thing that goes through your mind before darkness fades. Man, Barracudon. is thankful for knowing what really, really happened to his people, having the veil lifted from his eyes. He's thankful for the friends that he made that helped bring the truth of his past and his life and his people to him. And he's thankful that he was able to be here to 
try and support these heroes that he's met. It fades to dark. Jinrin, unable to run or roll away. Reaching out for Barracudon, who he knows can't defend himself. And he hasn't finished his work yet. Gets struck by the second beam. Struck. No, where are you? Where are you, Barracuda? Where are you? As he's blinded with the violet ray, unable to reach out to a body that's dissolved that he doesn't know is there. Second shot, third shot, <sighs> over the top of Rook's head. Are you in form or out? Are you a loon now? Oh well, no, I'm a loon. Okay, you're a loon now. Fourth shot headed towards Asher. Violet beam striking you, blinding you, Asher. Next beam towards Gitsy, <sighs> blinding you as well. Next beam, Josiah. This is because I saved and I've got evasion. Okay. You saved, so the beam just misses. Kirkley, who I still have to do his now. Oh, come on. He will use one of his locks. Oh. Oh. No. How? Ah! Ah! The beam strikes him. Straight and through the heart. He takes 60 points of piercing damage. 10d6. Ten, 10 HP. Ah! It's time to say goodnight. Love him. End of her turn. Kirkley, weary, looking back at the rest of the party, 
all blinded by rays. <sighs> Fuck you, Kaliani. It should have never been this way. He throws his cursed dagger. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! What is this game? What is Let's this go! game? Rogue ish! Oh, Let's what? Go! Oh my god! Uh, how was that even a thing? Come on. Come on. I'm I'm gonna need to lay down after this. Wow. As he takes that dagger to her heart. Con save, disadvantage. Is it into his skin? <laughs> you couldn't. You made me do this. You made me do this as he twists that blade. Kaliani will have to make a save with disadvantage. Constitution, DC 15. Stops the nat 20. news the necrotic was the lowest part super low only 14 points so seven off is that like a hundred and two Seventy six. Okay. <laughs> Divided hell by two. Of, hell of a time to have a crit, huh? Twenty eight points off the total. Sixty nine plus forty. Eighty-one points of damage. Seeing her down and out, he's going to fire off his pistol. Sixteen pistol misses. Like I said, love. It was never meant to be this way. As I will burn my action surge card for Kirkley. Oh, God. One last swipe.
29 to hit. save. God damn her constitution. Sneak attack. Needs to be big. Yeah. Two sixes, two fours. 42 plus 20. 62. Come on, baby, come on. It's yours. 62 rounds up to 69. I love you, Glam. As he plunges that dagger in your heart with two points to spare. As if in slow motion. You see her begin to fall and slump down into the throne. it always going to be this way. No, my dear. No, you had a choice. You had a choice. And I do as well. That's why it's time to go home. Before anyone else has to die. But I understand. But I... A good friend of mine told me Should let it go. So today, my love, we both let go. We both let go. As he takes out two of his pirate coins. And places them over her eyes. And takes the dagger from her hand. And plunges it through her last beating bit of corrupted heart. down to a knee as you see her body disperse almost like ash The blood and the water beginning to drop down like soot.
Kirkley falls onto his back. And you all slowly begin to open up your eyes. No, no, he was here. He was right here. He was right here. He was right here. I could have saved him. I should have saved him. I should have stabilized him. I should have spent everything I had. I thought we had time. I thought we had time. I thought we had time. Is he gone? Is there nothing we can do? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He was very brave. Till the very end. Never once sitting down his axe. Had such spirit. I wound your arm. Your arm? What happened to your arm? A A Loon's gonna. He's gonna be standing there, kind of staring at his. Missing arm, and he's gonna he's standing there staring at it for a long time, and then he's gonna look at his metal arm, and he's just gonna thump Gitsy in the chest with a metal claw. Well, what was that for? You, you said that I could do anything. You said that with this metal arm that I could still fight. That I could win. But look. What am I supposed to do now? It's just an arm, eh, Loon? It's not arm. It, what it's, are you talking You're alive. It, yes. But if you could call this living, I am half of a man. That's a lot to say. Don't you dare sound ungrateful to me right now, especially as... Well, as Barracudon isn't here, so half is better than none, isn't it? Yeah, well... No. Maybe. Maybe for some. Don't he's, you dare. He's gonna... Don't he's gonna... You dare. Diminish. Dump you again with his metal claw. Would you stop hitting me? He's... Is um, fuck you, Gitsy. Is fuck you. You don't. You don't care. You just. What? You don't even need me. That's not true. You don't. None of you need me. Wait. You already have a monster, and he's gonna throw his vorpal sword at Asher's feet. No. 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 This isn't. This isn't what's supposed to happen. We're supposed to win. And we did. Hey, Loon, what's Sort wrong? of. 
I already told you. No, you threw a temper tantrum and you threw a sword at me. What are you so upset because you couldn't actually win a fight? It was one fight. None of us came out looking well. Some didn't come back at all. Yeah. Maybe they were the lucky ones. He's going to turn around and walk away. Don't you... Aloon. No. I don't accept this. No. No. Not here. Not now. Not what are in you a doing? place I hate. It... Yes, we know you hate the water, but but what? I'm sorry, I shouldn't snap at you, but this is <sighs> I'm sorry. This isn't your domain. This is not your place. You should be in the Underdark. That's where you belong. Barracudon should be here. And Aelun should be able to hold his promise to me. If you want to mess with the deep below, then you can mess with the god of the below. And I ripped the chain off of my neck and used divine intervention to call upon Valus, the true god of the deep. And that is where we will pick up <laughs> next week. Oh my god. Valus is a lot of things. <laughs> Valus isn't a healer. <laughs> Healer's not one of them. <laughs> Calling upon a god. Nasher knows nothing about gods. Mm. But he knows this is their domain. Or his domain. But. Okay. In a very fitting way. As you've strolled through your book. We'll pick back up on that epic moment. That's your hint, chat. Well, I hope everybody has a great game next week. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I wanted to save that for the fight. The future fight, the one that we still have to have. But then, like, team just expl imploded. <laughs> That was the only thing I could think of. Sir, first test of real cost of our own flesh and blood. By the way, on all of our turns, had we taken them, and we're blinded, if we failed that save, we were all teleported to different dimensions. So you can understand the gravity of the Axon Surge. I don't take it very lightly to go full send on a turn on an NPC before my players. But understanding the gravity. I think you get a pass on that one. This from the very beginning was Kirkley's fight so he was going to be the one who ended it 
Regardless. I just got lucky. I got high rolls. Yeah. This is, we're certainly following his story. It was his opportunity to close this book. Oh, yeah. And everything that happened to the party was all on the dice. There was very little on, honestly, on you, Robert, as far as the game went tonight. The dice really told most of the story, to be perfectly oh, honest. Glam. And I say, like, we're sorry we couldn't save you. <laughs> <laughs> there was no opportunity. There was nothing. There yeah, was yeah, nothing. yeah. No, there, no, was, there was. was. I mean, nothing. I had... I had that action surge card and I thought that I could pull it off in a turn and keep him and get to him on the next round. But that's that's Jinred, man. Uh, I mean, we got incredibly lucky that Aloon is alive. Without a nat one, he's 100% she has way too much health with with mounted combatant if she doesn't fall off it's over it's over anyway if Josiah doesn't finish the shark off to the side the shark off I mean luckily I killed the big guy with the first swing and still had enough in the tank to get the shark and I missed that offhand shot. Oof. Dice were so back and forth. I mean, was like, yay, no, yay, no. Feast or famine, 20s and 1s. One at great cost. Great storytelling. Oof. Awesome storytelling. We will pick up an incredibly pivotal moment for this group next week night everybody thanks everybody